<laughs> you know, the one thing with that thing I thought really was funny is too, like, oh, so you, is Karen just an acquaintance? Karen has been my friend for I don't know how long. <laughs> Longer than you. <laughs> <laughs> like I, <laughs> yeah, but like I said, dude, I put in more time. <laughs> I don't judge my friends on that. <laughs> you should, dude. I put in a lot of time with you. I deserve it. And you're your friend. You're a friend. No, you're actually probably. I not. should be the best. Friend. I helped mold and sculpt him though into the person that I, you love. I don't. Okay. Uh, I don't give my friends uh, labels of like best and stuff. Labels. A best friend. What are your pronouns? He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't give his friends pronouns. pronouns. You friends don't get pronouns. <laughs> okay. Uh, welcome to the Bonsai Movie Crew. Where every week we talk about a different goddamn movie. <laughs> no matter the genre or anything. It could You're be breaking a, out the GD, right? What, goddamn? Like, like right from the rip. Well, goddamn right I am. <laughs> <laughs> I even rhymed with that one. Yeah, you did. <laughs> All right, so this week we are talking about the watch, which we'll get there in a second. First off, let's talk about some news. I don't really have a lot of news. Are you sure that's where we go next? Yeah, I think so. He, he, did. <laughs> I, he did. He did good. I oh, is he looking at the bullet points? Yeah, he's, he's got the bullet points, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, news. It's news. <laughs> news, and what have you been watching, and then movie time. <laughs> Okay, so this week, I don't really have a lot of crazy news. It was just announced, though, and I think this was just announced yesterday or the day before. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that clip of Ryan Reynolds oh, talking yeah. about Deadpool 3. Yeah. No. You haven't seen it? I haven't, oh, seen, Deadpool. Apparently. I haven't seen Deadpool 2. Don't anyway. Deadpool 2. That's good. <laughs> I'm stoked. Yeah, Dead so Hugh stoked. Jackman's coming back to play Wolverine again and, and in the Deadpool movie. In the Deadpool with movie, Ryan with Reynolds. Ryan Re in, yeah. in the correct Deadpool movie, not, yeah. not in the bullshit one didn't, that came back. Didn't really know. care for Deadpool one. All right, well, <laughs> moving on. This is you why know, this is to, why he's Ducky this, Tarantino. Yeah. Now. You know, I went to the I went to the um. Well, because Trey really killed me on Deadpool, man. I, I understand to, that you, you got burnt out on. I him. went watching. De I went to watch Deadpool in a Punisher shirt. <laughs> <laughs> just but they're part it. of the same universe though but yeah but i don't i think uh i think the punisher has a better moral standing kind of than, than i don't think either of them have any kind of moral no, they, standing they have, they're they're both had horrible morals yeah but i liked the fact that don't get me wrong dude i like the punisher more too but like the fact that the punisher only went after bad guys and deadpool was a merc he would go after bad and good guys. It didn't matter. See, I like the Punisher for the simple fact that he had that idea of you can keep putting them behind bars. They're going to get out and keep committing yeah. crimes. I put them down so they can't commit any yeah. crimes. <laughs> anyway, moving on. So uh, for any of you out there that are looking for some new movies to watch, there's a few movies out this week. Uh, that just came out on digital. I don't know if exactly. I don't think they're out on Blu-ray or anything yet but uh especially because we're getting into the halloween season. well not the halloween but like the colder months mm. oh yeah so people are gonna like you know they're gonna spend more time That's inside things like that so i think that i think from week to week here if there's any new movies out or anything that even looks interesting i'll kind of fill you guys in a little bit because i try to keep up on this stuff myself because i'm always looking for new movies to watch um but this week uh these just released yesterday i believe um you got bodies, bodies, bodies with uh, it's a it's a horror movie, but I think it's kind of a satire. Not I wouldn't even say satire, but it's one of those uh, teen sort of horror movies where people are just coming up dead and there's a killer amongst them. But it looks. I think I've seen a little thing. For it looks funny, but it also looks like I wouldn't say it looks scary so much as it looks like it could be an entertaining flick. <laughs> it's got Pete so Davidson like, in it. Oh, uh, it's so... it's like. Not good. No, I think it looks good. I, I like Pete. Uh, Davis. You know, I like Pete. You Davidson. can't. You can't automatically just blow something off just because you don't like like one person in it. Yeah, I, I agree I mean. with that. Um, well, that's what the whole world does. Why can't I join in? Well, because, because that's what makes you a better person. Yeah, yeah that's true. Okay, so also this week, um, digital release uh, Bullet Train uh, with um, fucking Brad Pitt. Uh, I believe. Uh, Sandra Bullock's in there. Uh, I, think I've seen I love a couple her. other people. A bunch I'm of happy fucking. She's coming back. It's in the a pretty, movies. Well, actually, she's taking a break from movies. 
That's what she said after she did, um, what's that movie? You Lost just, City. Lost City. She said that she's taking a break from movies for a while. Because she produced that one. Oh, well, because I thought, well, she was out of them for a long time raising her kid. She said she's actually taking a break from movies to spend more time with her kids and things. So she'll come back eventually, but I think she's well, just I a thought, break. Well, maybe she I think she needs to take a break from the plastic surgery, though. Because I'm tired of seeing that shit. She used to be pretty, and now she's just like I, I'm looking I didn't know very... she was doing plastic surgery. I thought she looked pretty good in Lost City. Maybe I, I mean, she looked She's she yeah, looked She's had work. She's had work. Maybe I don't like it. That. Especially in the mouth area. Like you can, it's just like it's just like one of those okay, like she, they just took and like pulled her face back. You know what I mean? Didn't like look as bad as Jennifer Connelly though. It's not as in your face. No, I disagree. I think she looks worse than Jennifer Connelly. No, look at the two of them. No, 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 I, no, yeah. no. Look at the two of them and see which. I think that I think that Sandra Bullock looks worse. No, I don't think so. I do. Um, I'm solving. And this. also, uh, Jennifer Connelly was just in the Top Gun movie. Sandra and she Bullock, doesn't man. look all plasticky in that. She actually looks aged. Well, maybe it was just an Alita Here's then. I don't know. I'd have, to, I'd have to look at that. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. And Alita, looked, she looked bad. Here's a picture. I didn't really pay much her, attention yeah, to Yeah, she her. looked like she might have had her lips thinned out and stuff. Let me see. But I don't think she looks bad. I do. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't think she looks bad. All right. I don't think she well, then praise her plastic surgeon. But it looks surgeon. like she's had a, she may have had a little her bit light, of work done. Guy. Yeah, maybe she, she had a little bad. bit of work done, but I'd still bang her. Oh, well, well, that's not even in the question. <laughs> Come on. I mean, on. I would. I'm that's just... not even in the question. That's not even fair. <laughs> I mean, I'm just I mean, saying. of course I would. You know? It's Sandra Bullock. Fair enough. I mean, come on, dude. Like, you remember, uh, what was the love potion number nine? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Old one. Oh, yeah, she yeah. was awesome in that. Mm-hmm. It, that was bad, yeah. You know, I, it always cracks me up with Sandra Bullock because they always put her in these movies where they're like, ugly duckling, beautiful. Yeah. She's, she's gorgeous hot all, either yeah, all way. The time. It doesn't like, matter. Yeah, you try to yeah, make her look ugly, kind of she's pretty. gorgeous. It yeah. doesn't, it doesn't thought, matter. I'm all sorry. they do, too, is like frizz her I hair know. up. And like, the best like, thing is, gonna make her look in ugly. like Miss Congeniality, the only thing that she did was act kind of boyish. Yeah. Like Act boyish and she okay. didn't take care of her hair. Okay, like... Like they cleaned up her eyebrows, straightened her hair, and said, perk up a little bit, and there, there you go. Like, she won a fucking... She almost won Miss America. Okay, so she just like went through my day to day like <laughs> i mean like that's all they did was try to teach her how yeah. to be a lady yeah i i really liked her i'm sorry in speed i thought she did an awesome yeah job. yeah dude. yeah speed was great speed, yeah it's all not right. speed two yeah we won't talk about i that. watched speed two a lot i will say it was not as good as one but the I best the, the, the best, best name never, that could have gave that two. fucking movie they did speed two cruise, cruise control, control. Like, wow, dude. The That's most, the best you could have gave it. Yeah, like, cruise <laughs> control. Like, you're just hitting the cruise control, just going at a steady pace. The I only think... thing they could have done better was put Steven Seagal in there as the bad guy or something. William Defoe was the bad guy? I know, but... Oh, okay. Well, I don't know it, if you remember it, who he was, because you said you didn't I've see never it. seen it, but no, like, I know enough about it to be uh, dangerous. I, I think <laughs> it would have been funny, or, like, have him as, like, the chef or something in the ship, or, like, am I remembering another movie he was in, maybe? Yeah, Under Siege. Oh, under siege, oh, I've been... where Tommy Lee Jones was the main bad guy. Oh, okay, but yeah. it would be funny for Steven Seagal to be the bad guy, though. Uh, he's oh. been a bad guy. He's not a good bad guy. He's kind of. I just don't that's like still Steven the Seagal. point. That's still funny though. Like, that's like... kind of the point. I, hate I think Seagal. the only reason I watched everybody hates <laughs> Steven Seagal. Don't like him. I think the reason I watched Cruise Control was probably because we had HBO, so I watched it all the time. And the other only reason I watched it was probably because of Sandra Bullock. Well, yeah, that's. I mean, well, she puts butt, she puts butts in seats, man. I mean, she, yeah, she gets tickets. Jason Patrick was in that too. Yeah, One of the few things he's done since Lost Boys. I can think. I think of like three. He was in. He's done. Uh, he did um, the second season of Wayward Pines, which mm-hmm. was an M Night Shyamalan sort of show or whatever. And because the first season had uh, Matt Lillard in it, Matthew Lillard, in it. not Matthew Lillard, uh, fucking. <sighs> He's from, uh, he's from, uh, he was in fucking God damn it. Something about Mary. He was the, uh, Ben Stiller. No, not Ben Stiller. Matt, oh, I know who you're talking Matt about. Dillon? Matt Dillon. Awesome yeah. Matt Dillon. Yeah. yeah. Matt Dillon. So he was in the first season and they killed him off at the end of the first season, which really sucks because he was, I, he was the only reason why I watched that show. Matt Dillon's great. He's, I fucking love Matt Dillon. And then, so for the second season, they brought him at that. What's his name? Uh, the, the, the guy Jason Patrick, Jason Patrick yeah. for the second season, and I didn't even bother with it. Well, the only thing I remember seeing him in like recently was The Replacements, and that was how long ago? He was in The Replacements? Yeah, he was the bad guy. 
And you talking about the football movie? No. The fo- no. Talking They're, about I the losers. The losers. Thank you. The losers. I watched yes. that. He was a bad guy in that. Yeah, he was the bad guy in that. Really? Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Wait. So who did he play in Cruise Control? He was the he main. Was he was the main guy. Boyfriend or the, her. He was essentially yeah. Keanu Reeves' replacement. Yeah, he was the Keanu Reeves replacement. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't even look like the same guy. Well, okay, because no, I'm saying no, nah, because I'm still judging him from when he looked in Cruise Control. I, uh, yeah, apparently. he doesn't. He doesn't look the same as he did like in Lost yeah. Boys or whatever. All right, let's move on. So there's another movie coming out or that's out called Control. I haven't really looked too much into this. It looks cool and it's getting really good reviews. Um, it's about about a some girl, late lady, I should say, in a uh, some kind of research facility. They constantly are doing tests on her to see something about like she has some kind of telekinetic abilities it reminded me of a video game called control where the girl has telekinetic abilities but apparently they have no connection so i was really confused by this but it looks good and it seems cool another movie coming out for you horror movie fans called fall uh essentially it's exactly what it sounds like uh it takes place on a tower something like really far like a mile in the air or something i don't know it looks good but dumb at the same time um you remember that movie bring it on cheer or die yeah that's out yes so if you want to check that out that is out on uh on demand um so yeah go go watch that piece of shit (laughs) where is it where is it streaming i I don't know if it's streaming on anything i know it's on down i know you can get it on digital so i don't know if it's streaming I'm looking at but, it. I don't, want to know if I, I don't think I would pay for that. I don't know that. I don't, <laughs> if, on, if it's on one of if my it's streaming on a, yeah, services. It's, if I can then... stream it for free, I might check it out. Bring but it on. The synopsis is super simple. So, <laughs> the, I just, I don't even know. Like, I feel like it's just a movie that shouldn't have been called Bring It On. It just <laughs> like Maybe, that. you know, it's probably one of those deals where it was uh, supposed to be something else. And, and they just uh, kind of had that. They're like, on, like, yeah, they're like, hold on. We need to save this. We need to... Uh, Save this franchise from falling into public domain. What was it? Cheer or die? Cheer or die, yeah. Not available on your fucking streaming services. Uh, it's probably only out on... Uh, yeah, it's only for rent right now. Yeah. Why are you um, fucking renting it? I, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not going to pay for it. <laughs> um, also, um, so for you horror movie fans <laughs> or you so old school... Bad. It does. It looks terrible. <laughs> It does. It looks bad. It looks really bad. And, it, and the synopsis gonna... for the movie is uh, a cheerleading squad find an abandoned school or something. It to says held practice. down by restrictive yeah. rules and embattled cheerleading squad <laughs> seeks the freedom of a creepy closed school gym to practice for regionals. But when members of the squad start to disappear, the cheerleaders must unmask their assailant to save themselves. PG-13. Oh, oh. Not even an R rating. <laughs> nope. Come on, man. It's not even worth checking out then. Uh, so the rating on here is 6% so far. Ooh. Have, yeah. Have you guys ever seen that movie? It's, a, it's an old movie. It's called All Cheerleaders Must Die. Yeah, I've seen that. Movie. <laughs> like, that's kind of like what that's yeah. looking in the mind. That's of. Got, yeah, exactly. Only that one's probably better. <laughs> uh, all right. So this big piece of shit dropped on Netflix uh, yesterday or day before. The Monsters. From Rob Zombie. I had, I had, I had a whole bunch no of stuff interest about going no in. Interest in. So I've got a few gripes. I haven't even seen this fucking movie yet, and I already have gripes about it. For one, I had gripes before it came out. Yeah, for one, Sherry Moon Zombie can go suck a dick. She I, does. That's why she got the roles. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, also, dude, right. why no. is this movie two hours long? Why is it so long? Also, why is Rob Zombie directing it? I'm sorry to tell you guys, but he Rob Zombie He needs to stick with fucking music. Stuff. Go is, back to music. T- Stop okay, making so movies. I was thinking about this. Rob Zombie is your next Tim Burton. He's taking properties and IPs that already exist no, and, because and remaking them. Tim Burton them. was good at one time. One time, like fucking 30 years ago. But he was good at one time. Rob Zombie has never made a good movie. That is true. No, I take that. Take that. I wouldn't say that because, I mean, I don't like House of Thousand Courses, but I am a Devil's Rejects fan. No, that movie. But I will say that one of the worst movies I have ever fucking seen in my life is The Lords of Salem. Lords of Salem. That movie. That movie is a piece of shit. All of them are bad because even like Devil's Rejects. Like, how the fuck is that a good movie? Because the only thing that was cool, if you want to go there, is like the family having some balls and like killing people and shit. And then in Devil's Rejects, they turn into a bunch of fucking pussies. That's true. I agree with that. That's stupid. Well, that's why I don't. I don't know, man. I see where you're coming from there, but if you if you if I watched Devil's Rejects without seeing House of Thousands of Corpses, 
Sure. I yeah. would, you know what I mean? I could see like, that. As a standalone sure. movie, as I love it. As a standalone movie, sure. Now, the three from Hell movie, I didn't care for that. That was dumb. All, all of them Because it was like a continuation. I didn't care for it. All of them suck. But uh, 31, I tried. I wanted all like of his movies are rehashed ideas. That's all yeah. they are. Yes. When I saw House of Thousand Corpses, I was pumped. Yeah. And then I watched it and I was like, huh. Yeah, I've seen this movie before. Cool. Yeah, Texas, fucking kidding me? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's, you're damn right. Yeah. Yep, Texas Jesus Chainsaw Christ. Massacre. He, he, okay, Tim Burton was once good, so you can't even compare the two. At least Tim Burton was good. I'm once. just tired. Of, I'm just tired of his these own motherfuck- fucking yeah. ideas. He had his own creative ideas back in the day. Yeah, kinda. He yeah, had kinda. he had a couple of movies that he did that were his ideas, but everything else were like pr- musicals or whatever before that. You know what I mean? Like Sweeney Todd was a musical before. Sure, so yeah. was uh fucking um I don't think I think Edward Scissorhands was his idea, his Edward baby. Edward Scissorhands was his. Um Beetlejuice was his. Beetlejuice was his. And so his. was Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas was his. But everything other than that, other than, well, mm. Frank and Weenie. But I bet I could go back for I bet there's a lot more than that, yeah. I don't know. I'm just not a huge Tim Burton fan. Not a big Tim for like he's okay. I like Tim Burton. He used to be good, and he was very creative at one time. That's what I'm saying. You can't compare the two. That's true. Okay, drop fine. I won't man. fucking compare Thank him. Thank you. All right, he, I'll drop it now. He's more like uh, our new Ed Wood. There you go. I'll go with that. <laughs> but, but Only they throw money. Entertaining. <laughs> it, well, that they didn't throw a bunch of money at Ed Wood. They throw a shitload of money at Rob yes. Zombie, and he still can't and make why? a good movie. You know, why? you know why they throw all that money is because of Rob Zombie. Well, no, because he's in a band and he has a yeah. follow. He does have a following. Yeah, well, but it's it. it's like but it's, it's like they hand it's... a bunch of fifteen year old boys in a fucking in a room here. Write us a script, and it's all fucks, dicks, and dick jokes, and ah, ha, ha, ha. like it's not funny, dude. It's no. not it's not entertaining. That's because that's grow what the Rob fuck up. Zombie is he's not a mature adult. Yeah, grow the fuck up, man. Anyway, sorry he's about that. Those, my he's, rant. He's well, one of those well, people I just, who's like Marilyn Manson. He does he's nothing. Just, I don't think. Shock. Don't get me wrong, dude. The Monsters looks like it could be a good movie, but it's no. not because it looks cheesy. It's not going to be good. And it, and honestly, even the cheese wouldn't bother me. But it's the fact that he does all the, you know his Rob Zombie shit. He's trying to make this classic fucking. But here's the thing: is that it should be <sighs> cheesy? Because I know that's the original Monsters that's what was I'm saying. cheesy. It should be. But he's going to fuck it up. He's gonna. He's not. No, he's not gonna fuck. He did fuck it up. Yeah, yeah. Because it's not getting good reviews. Nobody well, likes no, it. No. So. Well, just, even before it was made, it was a bad idea. Yeah. Whoever gave him the reins should be pummeled. Well, right. Also, because you know what's go- okay. If you, you've watched the monsters, which I know we've all want, watched the monsters. Fuck yeah, I've seen every. They episode. have all that stuff. All the stuff like you know that's like scary. But you know, Rob Zombie is gonna shove the whole background full of. Uh, Gore and satanic no, and demonic. No, 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 I don't, no, I don't, think, I don't no. think so. It's very, it's PG. So. It's rated PG. Oh, really? Yeah, it yeah, is a PG I movie. I don't think that. I um, just think he's going to ruin it. He's, he's going to ruin it. Uh, but also, they. so the movie was made on a $40 million budget. It looks like a fucking $30 budget. Because uh, even, I've heard reviewers and everybody say this, because I was thinking this whenever I saw the fucking trailers. The costumes look like garbage. I've never seen it. Um, I, 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 I watch right. another guy who does reviews, and he said that there's a scene with a Halloween party, and he said you can't distinct between you can't tell the difference between the people who are actually wearing costumes that are meant to be wearing costumes for the Halloween party, and the people who are are in costume for the movie for the monsters for like the you know what I mean like the creature from the Black Lagoon all that stuff. He said you can't tell the fucking difference because that's how cheap their costumes look. Jesus. I was like, that's fucking sad, man. I was like, especially on a $40 million budget. But I guess the well, lighting looks good. That's giving and... fucking Rob Zombie $40 Rob million. Rob Zombie's a fucking joke, man. He I'm, probably I'm gave $20 of million of it to his wife. Dude, yeah, I, I'm I sick also, of him. Also, that was her you fucking know, I payment. actually heard him say that the only reason he even got into music was to do movies. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. and that... But the music was good. Mm-hmm. Not anymore, though. Yeah. <laughs> no, not anymore. I'm just saying, back in the day, the it music was good, good. Yeah, it had good beats and stuff, but other than that, I don't really... So there's a couple of movies that um, trailers have dropped for. For We're getting into the spooky season. So Jesus. You're, you're getting more uh, movie trailers for horror movies and things like that are going to be coming out, especially on on streaming services and like that. Uh, so there's one coming out on Shutter called Slash Back, um, and it's a... It's I a love Shutter. I do too. I fucking love Shutter. If you don't have Shutter and you've got an extra seven dollars a month or whatever it is, I mean, pay who for doesn't it. have seven dollars? Yeah, month? pay for it, dude. Amazing. It's worth it. I had Shutter for a while and it was pretty good. I got to watch the Creep Show. Shutter. Yeah, I love so, 
this uh, movie the last drive-in i'm not sure exactly when it drops but uh it's it's about a bunch of girls like young ladies like young girls and apparently an alien invasion occurs and it looks like it could be it, like they're they're kind of you know quippy these girls oh, are i love that so but it also looks like it could be kind of gory in areas which i'm excited for so it looks good i will actually be checking that one out there's another one coming out called um I can't remember the name of the fucking movie. I watched the trailer and I lost it. And I'm like, where did this movie go? But it's coming out and it's coming to Hulu. It's called, uh, mm. fuck. I can't remember the name of it. I don't know the name of it. But so the monster in it looks stuff. awesome. He looks cool as fuck. That's why you need to write this stuff I down. I wanted to and I was trying to find it. I couldn't find it. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it here real fast. Type it into Google and describe it. Google knows all, even with the least description. <sighs> Except for the only thing that one thing that is wrong about is that men can give birth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Say that that men can give birth. Yeah, it says yeah. That, it says that some it men does. can give birth. Um, hold on a second. Let me just go ahead and Google new horror monster movies movie Hulu. on Hulu. New horror. The monster. Since you know, there's a monster in it. Yeah. Well. Hold on. On Hulu. Um, okay, coming to Hulu, I guess? <laughs> <laughs> not on Hulu, because apparently it's not I'll on help. Hulu yet. Um, let's see here. Where the fuck is it, man? I just saw the goddamn movie. This goddamn early, like, not even an hour ago or something. Uh... Like, it's coming out. It's coming out. It's not out yet. I'm going to just type in horror movies coming to Hulu. Mm. Horror movies. God, if you want to, people, you can skip through this part. <laughs> <laughs> skip forward about 30 seconds and we'll find it for you. Um, wow, it doesn't give you... Like, it just keeps... Wait, Grim, Grim Cuddy? Yeah, that's Grim it. Cuddy, that's welcome. it. Yeah, that's it. You're welcome. Yeah, Grim Cuddy. Grim Cuddy. Which is a dumb name. I don't know what the fuck that is. But, like, look, you can see his face right there. In the... Yeah, I seen it. I seen it. You seen it. So, but... it looks cool as fuck, and he looks creepy. If so you ever, you ever noticed, though, like, in Hulu, anytime they have, like, a monster movie, a lot of them have stupid names, but they are really good. Like Prey? Well, there was that one whole well, series that, that they name? had. Because I thought it was a dumb name for a Predator movie. They had movie. that one whole series that was a uh, Blumhouse, Blumhouse production mm -hmm. that helped do. Uh, they were like holiday. They were all revolving around holidays. Oh yeah. And um, I don't remember what it was called now. In the dark, in the, into the dark, in the dark, something I don't like know. that. But they all had holiday themes, and um, there was a couple of monsters on there. Every single one of them had a dumb name. But there was only one of them that I fucking hated. And they had a sequel to that one that I fucking hated. <laughs> like on the next holiday yeah. that it had. And the sequel was awesome. <laughs> so like, yeah, but like all of the monsters that they had on that series had dumb names and they were really good. Yeah, so, this one here know. looks pretty cool. I'm not sure exactly what the whole premise is of it. Pookie. Just... That was the fucking monster's P name. Pookie? I fucking hated it. Pookie? Yeah, it was like a, it was like a toy. It was a kid's toy, mm -hmm. and it went stupid and, like, tried to kill people or whatever, but it was, like, well, I think it was a dude in a costume, I think, and he tried to kill people or something. I don't remember, but the first one was stupid, and then the second one was great. <laughs> so Sometimes you get that, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? The like, sequel was great. All right, so um, so that's that's what I got so far on movies, and we'll try to, if as they come out, we'll, we'll fill you guys in. Um but, all right, well, let's jump into what have you guys been watching? Karen? Mm. Not much. <laughs> Not much? Mm-mm. Finished season one of uh, Only Murders in the Building. Did you like it? I did. It was really I good, wasn't it? I fucking love it. It's really good. I've, I haven't I've, watched season two yet. I started season two did already. You? Yeah, I started. I'm on episode three, I think. Yeah, I haven't started it yet. Yeah, it's great. It's still great. I'm I'm gonna continue. I wanted to I wanted to wait for the whole se the whole second season to come out. It's because, on. 
the whole I figured it it's was by now, now because yeah. they're only half hour episodes or something. So yeah, you kind of like, like you want to save They're a little it. longer in season two, I think 35 or 40 minutes. Yeah. Like it depends because I think one of them I watched was 45 minutes. You know what I mean? Like they're kind of yeah. all over the place. They can do that with streaming services. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's because like the first one did so well that they're kind of allowing them to have little. Yeah, let's give little you a little more time. Yeah. Like I, I don't know. I fucking love it. Um, and then uh, we watched Practical Magic with Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. <laughs> and who else was in there? Jeremiah that? had never seen it, and I was like... Is that Nicole Kidman in yeah, that too? Yeah. He's like, he'd never seen it, and I was like, oh, it's great. Because like, all I remembered was like that they killed her boyfriend. I, I think I saw it like once years ago. Yeah, like i have seen it like 100 years ago, right? Yeah. I remembered that her husband died, and it was sad. But then all I remember was that it got dark because, like, they killed her boyfriend. He came back, and it was, like, this zombie thing. <laughs> and so I thought, like, it was going to be creepy and, fun, like, great, right? So I was like, oh, let's watch this. Isn't It'll it, like, great. kind of a dark comedy or something? Kind of, but, like, it's sort of a love story, yeah, right? So, yeah. like... It's more more of a drama than anything. You, yeah, so, like, you know, it goes in, and I'm like, oh, this is a lot more lovely than I remember. Damn. This is like, near I mean, as fun as I remember it to be. Well, no, it was. It was, it was still really good. I mean, it was... I, I still... Very fondly, you know, it was re- it was still just as good as I remember. Just had- what was that? What was that movie with Bruce Willis and uh, and Goldie Hawn and where he they get that potion and shit and they're pretty much they can't die. Oh, death becomes her. Death becomes oh, her. Oh yeah, yeah, I fucking love so, that movie. I used to have a shirt that said. That's death what you were. Just I was always so jealous thing. of that fucking shirt. You know, I Trey gave me that shirt. I wanted that shirt and so bad. I don't know what happened to that it? That son of a bitch. I wanted that shirt. <laughs> See, that movie's a fucking. That's what that movie should have been. You know what I mean? That Practical Magic. If they would have went no, more, lean no, more that way. I think way. they did a great job because, like, you know, so the only thing was was you know that. They talked about the curse that, like, any man that fell in love with them would die or whatever, you know. So, I, and one thing that Sandra Bullock really does well is sad. So, like, when her husband died, you know, like, you feel it, right? You're like, oh, fuck, you know? And I remember it being sad, but, like, you know, I was young when I watched it the first time. <laughs> so, like, the second time, or, like, this time when I was watching, I'm like, oh, that's so fucking sad. Like, you know? <laughs> and then, like, you know, so, like, the, you get past that part, and then, like, they kill her, her boyfriend. Then he's, like, coming back and shit, and, you know, it's funny. And then, like, you know, the the cop shows up and it's funny and you know all this stuff's going on so i don't know it was just kind of like a lot of different things wrapped up together it's kind of like a roller coaster yeah, ride you like know you, you have, it's like, got its ups got, and downs yeah you've got like this really sad and you got really funny and then you got kind of creepy and yet i mean it was it was, it was still a really fucking good movie <laughs> but that's all that's all we really watched this week yeah what about you matt what you watching well i've pretty much been watching the same stuff that i've been watching but I started a, sh- a new show on Netflix. I mean, not Netflix, on uh, Hulu. It's a cartoon adult show. It's an adult animation. Is this- Porn? No. <laughs> no. They don't have that on Hulu, do they? I don't uh, think so. No, no. it's it's um, a show called... Uh, it's it's done... The people live in North Carolina. And it's called uh, Bless the Hearts. I have not even heard of this. That sounds dumb. And... You didn't even start I know, describing I know. it. Calm down. Well, it sounds like a like a bad like drama show or something. Uh, like. It's a comedy, and they, it's basically there's this girl Jessica who um, lives with her mom, with her mom who's an older woman because she's she's an adult, and then her daughter and the daughter's a real good artist, and she's dating this guy that she's been dating for ten years because she's scared of like living with him in marriage. Uh, and he's funny. And then uh, basically, she lo- she works at this restaurant that is called The Last Supper. It's a seafood buffet. And the uh, uh, the restaurant, it's got a big picture of The Last Supper with Jesus sitting in the middle of it. And sometimes Jesus comes out and talks to her. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's pretty cool. Because, like, they didn't make, like, it don't have no bad language or anything. It's really kind of family friendly. And I just really like it because a good little wholesome show all right well that's cool i mean but uh i did actually decide there was a couple before we started doing this there was a movie that i seen on netflix and it was called day shift yeah the one with uh jamie Jamie fox Fox, yeah and david franco that was a pretty good movie i like that one jackson jack my seven-year-old i got a seven-year-old and he's we watched that movie and i was like eh, it's probably gonna fucking suck it's a vampire movie that went straight it's on netflix you know what i mean 
Uh, and but surprisingly, like, sometimes, a lot of Netflix yeah, movies that are good. Really gonna... sometimes, yeah. And I'm like, so we watched it and it was okay. It was a good action flick, a good, yeah. good time. And, like but it. Jackson loved it, dude. He was like, dad, what was the name of that movie? I was like, you know, it's day shift or whatever. Yeah. I want to watch that again sometime. Like well, it's got Dave Franco it, in it. I'm down. Right. I, mean, I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, yeah he, he's he's, he, he's got a really big role in the movie. Yeah, he's Dave actually Franco. pretty funny in the movie yeah. too. You guys know how I feel about James Franco. I don't understand why Dave Franco is not more. Is Dave Franco that are they related? Yeah, they're brothers. brothers. I thought they were, but I wasn't for sure. But yeah, Dave Franco doesn't something. have the monster mouth. Well, <laughs> well, you know, because some people they'll look and they'll have the same name, but then it turns out they're not. They're yeah, not related yeah. at all. Or like Charlie Sheen, you wouldn't know that he was related to Emilio um, Estevez. Emilio Estevez, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like the, with Hollywood, they change their names and stuff so much that you don't know who's related. Well, that's because Emilio Estevez kept the, 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 the their, family their, their name, family like name, their actual yeah. name. Okay, so uh, I haven't watched a lot this week either. Um, we started watching that Dahmer show. Um, we're six episodes. There's a lot that. of backlash going on with that. Why? Uh, I guess I could have brought this up with news. Is but... it mainly because of Dahmer? Well, it's kind of like, well, I know you, and I, you and I talked about this I think a they said bit. something about, like, trying to glorify it. Well, make it's, it seem it's like something that I, I've talked about a little bit because, like, you know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of uh, true crime, serial yeah. killer. I've, I've done a lot of research on my own. I read a lot of books, read, you know, watch the shows, stuff like that. But a lot of the stuff that I watch or that I'm into has to do with the serial killer themselves a lot of their background, a lot of, you know, the crimes themselves and stuff like that. Um, the backlash that's coming from this is um, specifically that they're including, like, family members from the victims. Like, they have a scene of one of the family members um, that talked at one of, at his trial, and they recreated that in oh, the movie. And um, it's bringing up, you know, a lot of things for the for Trump, the victims' families traumas. that you know, and that they didn't get permission to do that. And it's, you know, I I have a problem with that. You know, um, it's one thing to learn about serial killers and want to learn about them for a reason, but revictimizing and you know, th- these were real people, right. real victims. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I understand. You know, yeah. but anyway, that that's where that. Um, there's that's, a that's back there's a couple of episodes from. that I'm like, are they trying to make it seem like Dahmer wasn't such a bad guy? Like, but Ryan Murphy does that. Like, yeah, I mean, I like love there is Evan a couple Peters. of scenes where I'm like, okay, let's not try to make See, it seem like he's a good dude. Of, or that's something. part of the reason I really kind of don't want to watch it because I love Evan Peters. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Um, but I I've seen my friend Dahmer. Me I too. saw. Um, the one that like we we talked about it last time um, that had what's his face in it. Um, back oh, in Jeremy day. Renner. Jeremy Renner, and yeah. that was a really good one. He did a good job. That was creepy. Yeah, that was a creepy one. The, he did a really good job. I don't think we need this one. Yeah. I just don't. I'm digging it though, man. Like I I don't know. Like I'm not a big I'm not big into the serial killer stuff like you guys are. I like I like true crime stuff. I, we love documentaries and uh, true crime I was documentaries. Into serial killer. I actually and, turned out. More, I'm more now into like just mystery stuff. Yeah. So like, but this show is actually good. Like it does. I think it tries to show more of his psyche and the way he thought. Because I don't think that I don't want to sit here and say yeah he wasn't a bad dude. Obviously he was a terrible person. Yeah. But uh, I can see. I think it tries to show how sometimes his thoughts and emotions tried to conflict with what he wanted to do and how he tried to suppress them sometimes. Sure. And he was beaten out by, yeah, you know, he and, didn't have the willpower to beat that and out. And maybe, maybe that is a side that, um, they, they've never really portrayed. They haven't, they've never, they, you gotta understand whenever they do these movies and these documentaries, they just make they, they want them, they want them to look like a monster, but to believe it or not, they are fucking human beings. I'm sure that he yeah. knew in his mind what I'm doing is wrong. Well, and if but I can't help myself. Well, and if you if you do any research at all about it, and again, like I said, it's when I do my research, when I read, I, I'm reading about them. I don't, you know, right. I might I might read the victims' names, or you know, I might read about the crime Understandably, itself. Yeah, but I don't really like, you know, I don't want to, um, you know, 
get into the victims so much because they were real people. Uh, that's what I like about it, though, because it kind of helps you feel more sympathy for the victims. Sure, but because, I'm saying... Because, like, the, first, the whole first episode is about the one that got away. Sure. And what, then, like, the la- trying... one of the last episodes that I watched was about he tried to build a relationship with this... Mm-hmm. With with the deaf one, the mm-hmm. one that was deaf, mm-hmm. and um, in the end, ended up killing him, obviously. Sure. But uh, but that that entire episode is revolved around that victim, right? To the point that you feel sympathy for mm-hmm. him, and you feel right. terrible whenever he finally does bite it at the end, right? What I'm saying though, I'm not saying that that's not important because it is. What I'm saying though is is that by delving into his psyche, if you do that research, you know that already. Like you know, right. I I already know like that he had a very deep need for affection. Oh, yeah, yeah. He had a very um, deep need for someone to understand him and to feel love and affection for him. But he didn't know how. He didn't know how to get it. And a lot of what happened with him came from that. He right. didn't. He didn't, you know, his parents... In my opinion, his mother especially. Oh, if for you sure. know anything about that. The background. mother the mother thing really takes a like even it, before they talk my a lot friend Dahmer first... came out, like I knew about that yeah. stuff. She failed him in so many ways, and his dad should have paid a little more attention. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, they show that like I guess he was uh his his dad had what what happened was his parents split up, his dad for, this is what I'm getting from the show. His dad left um because obviously they were divorced or whatever. And then his mom just loses it and takes his little brother. And he's left at home in this mm-hmm. house at like 17 years old for three months straight with no nothing. And this is where he kind of starts getting into like, you know, the alcohol abuse and, and well, it, his first victim. It started out his mom. She, first of all, she, I don't know know. how accurate all this show is. is. I'll I'll just, I'll give a quick rundown. When she was pregnant with Jeffrey, she took, uh, too many pills. Yeah. yeah, She took a a lot of of different pills that she probably should not have fucking taken. So maybe that had a problem. They were all prescribed. Maybe, maybe maybe not. Who knows? I don't know. Um, but then when she had him, she wouldn't let anybody touch him. She wouldn't hold him. She wouldn't let anybody else hold him, including the dad. I mean, the fuck. Yeah. You know? You want to wear that deep need for affection. <laughs> right, and like, not knowing how to get yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, and I mean, it just continued all throughout his childhood. Now, when baby brother came along, baby brother got everything he needed and wanted. Yeah. And how? what kind of message does that send to Jeff? Kind of makes you wonder where his brother is now. Yeah, I don't and know. And if he even holds that last... I bet he doesn't have the last name Dahmer. I probably There's not. There's no way. Probably not. Dude, but I, I mean, I'm just saying, who like, has the last name Dahmer and isn't even related to him probably change your life. <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> Everybody in the world went, well, that's it. That's it for me. <laughs> but, like, especially know, if they're from Ohio. Like anybody who has the last name Hitler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They just change it. <laughs> but I mean, I'm just saying, you know, what, what kind of message does that send to Jeff? Yeah. Right. When baby brother got everything he needed yeah. and wanted. And then, you know, dad, dad tried with Jeff. Like he, you know, but mom, Here and there, yeah. mom, she just made it hard for well, the dad to do I guess anything she, I think she pretty much dipped out too whenever he was a teenager and that was it she did she so. did um, 16, 17 yeah when they divorced yeah. everybody just left him yeah but the dad the dad I will say this for, much for the dad the dad did not know that Jeffrey was alone yeah he until the know. very end until he came in and like he wanted to introduce his new spouse or whatever his new uh, the, the significant dad, other the and, dad did try with jeff yeah but a lot of times he got blocked by mom so anyway yeah I mean, anyway you know I, i'm just saying you know if you knew anything about dom or you knew that already that he had this very deep affection but not a lot of the movies did a good job of portraying that so maybe that is one good thing that ryan murphy is doing but at the same time i don't know how much of that you can do and it not be a slap in the face at the same time. To that's a victims, very that's yeah. a very tight. It's a, it's a very yeah it's a very you know, it's a very tight line to walk. But yeah, because you want to do a good job, but you're yeah. playing somebody who is hated. Well, it's not even that. It's more more or less you're trying to follow. You're trying to write as many of the facts in as you can without trying to make it look like you sympathize with yeah. the with Dahmer. Yeah, like right. I said, you're so, trying to do a right. good job, but you're playing somebody who's hated. Exactly. Right. Right. So, but I don't know. It's a good show. I I suggest checking it out. Um, and then also, I've I I've been slowly, like because I have Disney Plus, um, 
I, I slowly try to get into some of the old cartoons and try to watch them all. And I've slowly been watching the uh, old school 1990s X-Men show. Oh, I missed and, that show. Yeah, I love that show. I've been trying to watch it chronologically. Like, they got the fucking episodes messed up on that thing. They do. Like, so, I noticed that I watched yeah. something else, and I was like, this is Yeah, the episodes are crack. off. I'm yeah. like, what the fuck? Like, this isn't even... Okay, so... But anyway, one show that they do have is Gargoyles. And that is such an underrated fucking TV show, man. I love because Gargoyles. Because that movie is so well done. It's got... I mean, just the storyline alone. Some Did of the story beats. Did you see the preview for it? No. They made a live action preview for it, I do believe. Did they? And it looked good, but it was it was one of it, those. It would be such made. a cool fucking like movie it for was, them to do or it something was one like of that. Those, it was one of those fan made ones. Was it? That did a really It'd be good so job, awesome. Though. Like the did characters in the show are awesome. I love the diversity in the show was amazing. Like uh I think the main girl, the cop, she's like half I don't know, Italian and half black, I think, or something. I don't know, but like yeah, she puts me in the mind of like I don't know if you guys know who Sarah Pizzini is from Witchblade. She puts me in the mind of her from Witchblade because she's also a New York City cop mm-hmm. or detective or whatever. So I don't it's just, know much about Witchblade except for she was a cop. Yeah, so <laughs> like there's that, and plus the, just the characters with the with the gargoyles, and nobody does anything with gargoyles, man. That's so cool. Like, it's just awesome. It's good character design, everything. I just. And it's it's a well made show. It's my, well animated. My friend Milo really likes it. He even he has a toy of one of the gargoyle, the main gargoyle, Gar- Goliath. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. he's got a main. He's got a little. I just think that the show is highly underrated, and I think that it deserves. I used to watch it every day before school. I used to watch every it when I was a kid, but I didn't appreciate it as much as I do now. Like I'm watching, it, I'm like, <laughs> this show is awesome. Yeah, like I this show it. is amazing. You know what show I want to watch from my childhood? And it, it, because I didn't really get to see much of it from when I was a child. Biker Mike. Biker, Biker Mice, Mice from, Mars. from Mars. Yeah. That was I back don't whenever. Know what you're talking about. That was well. That's this was back whenever you had like street sharks. Yeah, street and, sharks is cool. You know too. what I mean. This is back whenever people were trying to capitalize on what the Ninja Turtles were doing. Fair enough. So they had biker mutated animals. Mars. Well, they're like, well, we can do that. So they had biker Mike or biker mice from Mars, and they had uh, street sharks, and I think they had another one. I knew street sharks. I never heard of this biker mice thing. Uh, uh, Battle or... Toads was a direct uh, yeah, rip off, also. Toads. Uh, yeah, biker mice from Mars were cool because it was just mice who had little antennas still. They had because they were from Mars. Yeah, and they had a. a vi- I think I remember the toys. Because I have toys, right? I, I have the toys, and my brother had um, what was his name? I think it was Lawrence Limburger, and he had a human face. <laughs> Lawrence but, Limburger, but you took it off, and it was a fish face. It was like he was the enemy of them. And it was it was it was it was a cool show. What I still remember world? one line from it. From when they're fighting these uh, these um, uh, robots, and the one guy goes, the bigger the one mouse, I forget the name, goes, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And the one mouse goes, fall. I thought it was winter. And it's just it's like <laughs> that little. <laughs> what? Fall. I thought it was winter. Oh, I thought you said winter, like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> These stupid dad jokes, man. See, and they wonder where I get them from. It's like, well, I grew up on them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, no that's, I grew up learning this shit. All right, so we have made it through that. Let's get into the movie. This week we are talking about the watch from 2012, directed by Akiva Schaefer, which I didn't know this is also a member of the Lonely Island. That would explain why they were at the orgy. <laughs> Um, uh, directed by Akiva Schaefer, written by Jared Stern, and I didn't know this, but also Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg. Did not know that. Um, and stars Ben Stiller, Vince Vaughn, Jonah Hill, and Richard Awade. Awade. I watched him pronounce his own name. Oh, good. Thank you. You're God. Welcome. I was going to, I knew I was going to botch that too. I was like, oh, fuck. But I, he's my favorite part of the whole fucking movie, period. Him and Vince Vaughn. Hands down. I don't know. I can't even. They all, I love them all, honestly. Except for Ben Stiller. He's a douche. No, he, uh, Jamarcus is definitely my favorite. Jamarcus. I love that they gave him such a stupid black name. Jamarcus. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody, some guy named Jamarcus. I was like, dude, that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so uh, the movie, I don't know what the, I didn't even get the budget on this one. I should have. 
Um, I don't know the budget on it, but all I know is it had Will Forte in it, and he's awesome. Mm-hmm. I fucking love Will Forte. He's Sergeant he's the Bressman. Cop. He was he's the, the cop. cop. He's the douchey cop. Oh, yeah, cop. he's fu- I couldn't remember his name, but I knew he was, he was funny. To put his heart and I, I was like, yeah, he chest. tried to put his heart back and it just started pumping his chest. I was like, no, that's, they're that's like, dude, dude, he's dead. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's DED dead. Yeah, he's like, he said, dude, his, his, his heart is literally out of his body. He's not alive. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, the best guy in the movie was the old dude. Our, uh, that's where, uh, is it Arlie Ermy? I fucking love that man. <laughs> I told you it was blinking, you miss it. It was, it was very, and I was like, fuck, there he is. And he comes out just spouting off shit. What the fuck? I got a bunch of fucking Girl Scouts in my yard. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Neighborhood watch, give me a fucking phone. break. <laughs> cell phone, sail away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got a comment about what the like. Like, I think it's funny that are you are you stomping on my roof? Why are you calling the watch? <laughs> like, yeah, no, he's calling what? him just because he caught him in his yard once before. He's like, I know that these little fuckers on my roof. You know what I mean? So he's like calling them. You care. on my fucking roof? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I I I still think if somebody was stomping on my roof, even if I go, I think it's the people from the watch. I'm gonna call the cops. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. You know, I got a bunch of Girl Scouts on my fucking roof. <laughs> my favorite um, line that Jamarcus had was when he first shows up at Ben Stiller's house, like for their first meeting, and Ben Stiller's so excited because he's gonna have he's gonna have a black friend finally. <laughs> And Jamarcus is like, oh, you know, most people are disappointed when they meet. Me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, most people are just. Dis- and then the first interaction they have is like, so scenario. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I get a call. It's it's. I get a call to a woman's house. Blah blah blah. And she wants to suck my butt. Bu- she sucks my balls. She's Asian. And she's Asian. Don't yeah. Forget, she's Asian. She's Asian. And then he has that exact scenario happen to him at the orgy. He's like, yeah. yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking yeah. love him, dude. He's so gr- I love him in in that, and I love him in IT Crowd. Oh, the IT he's Crowd. He's fucking hilarious, oh, dude. I God. could watch him all day. The um, best thing about him in the IT Crowd, well, and it's in this movie too, is the deadpan. The deadpan, like, and he's always no, just like so, like yeah. I mean, the <laughs> most you might get is like a smile, but it's like such a friend. It's friendly. It's not. Yeah. Like he's I'm got laughing. like, like yeah. I'm, I'm. He's got this friendly, friendly, serious look on his face. Yeah. Like I am 100 percent serious about what I am saying. Right. You know. But like the the most you might get is kind of like that friendly smile. He's not that he's laughing because it's humorous. He's laughing because he's trying to be friendly. Yeah. You know, or he's smiling. You know, he's just like <laughs> ah, friendly smile. I kind of felt bad for Bob. He was just trying to make friends. Bob. Vince Vaughn's character. Oh that, yeah, he was just trying to make friends. That's what. Like, I don't think he cared anything about the watch or anything. He just, he just wants some dudes. Well, yeah, that's, I think that's what initially, it was, yeah, yeah, initially. But I think he, you know, I mean, he kind of re- he put me in the mind of that. That he was that. He even said this. He goes, my my wife travels around the world. She's traveling more, yeah. so I got to play the more parenting roles. And I think that he was taking on that position of stay at home mom. I need to make some friends, and I need to have. He he. It was yeah. his version of. A book club, right? Absolutely. And absolutely. So he was not only that, but he was like he had this big old man cave. You know, mm-hmm. I'm gonna bring him to my house. I'm gonna impress him. Yeah, they'll be my friends. Yep. We'll hang out. We'll yep. do we'll do cool dude yeah. stuff. You know, yep. and it turned into fuck. We gotta fight aliens. Uh, it was like what? <laughs> he it was, bought them all jackets. Like my whole yeah, bought them all cool ass <laughs> jackets. He, he just wanted friends. That's really. And then also, I, I think it's kind of messed up that the cops on the commercial on the thing were like. We got no cut. We got no. We got so many few, so few cops and stuff. And then they treat the people that are watching. I wrote that like, down crap. too. I wrote that down too. The cop asks for the public's help, and then makes fun of the public that answers the call. Yeah. <laughs> I said. I, I said. I actually wrote down those cops say there are few cops. And then, then he bl- like, even blames the people he, trying to help. And then even blames the people. He's like, and this is on you. And he even points at the camera. You. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know the, the one thing I noticed like. I love the very first exchange you've seen between Vince Vaughn and his daughter where she's like, I fucking hate it here. And he's like, I fucking love it here. <laughs> I fucking love it here. Love you, princess. <laughs> yeah. So, um, <laughs> did, did, okay. So Jonah Hill in this movie. He's, he's, uh, this is one of the few role, like this is one of the later roles by him that is actually still funny and good. But because like, like whenever he gets into like now he's into like serious acting and he's kind of douchey. And I, I agree. Really like but like here's here's what I'm saying though is like 
You know how he got like really skinny? Yeah. He's like real skinny now and everything. Mm-hmm. He looked good in this movie. And yeah, he, wasn't, he didn't. He wasn't uber skinny. Yeah. He but he looked like legit good. He could have stayed that size. Yeah. And he would have looked great. Yeah. Just stay that way. You know who else lost a lot of weight? The guy who played um Randy. And my name is Earl. Yeah, he's, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, he, he, look, he looks he's great. Jacked, dude. He's how like, you say, yeah, he, he lost weight. He's and got ripped. Yeah, yeah he's, he's beefcake. Yeah, because I, I, I knew he was losing weight because I, because I, I watched My Name Is Earl and I liked him. And then I, he was him and the girl who played Joy were in an episode of Raising Hope. And I was I like, I loved oh. Raising Hope. And I heard that he was losing weight, and I was like, okay, that's cool that he's losing weight. And then recently, I was watching My Name Is Earl. And yeah, I, he's jacked now. I was dude. like, oh, dude. I forgot he's lost weight. I wonder what he looks like now. And I saw a picture. I was like, "Dang!" Yeah, yeah, he's fucking. <laughs> yeah, he. I saw him on a talk show. He was talking about his uh, eating regimen and stuff like that. He said so. He sticks to a lot of like certain foods, certain Proteins things he won't eat, and stuff like that. And he just works out like all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he. I seen a little thing popped up on my Facebook after. I looked he doesn't at look as lovable anymore though. Now, now he's kind of scary. <laughs> you know, like he used to be like this big teddy bear. Now you're like. I don't think I'd <laughs> fuck with that guy. Like, I don't think he looks friendly at all. <laughs> but he, I, I seen a thing on it popped up on YouTube, and it was talking about him with his weight loss and stuff. And he said that uh, basically um, Hollywood glorified him being big. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they made money they off do. of his large. They do though. Like yeah. you know, if you if you go into Hollywood as a big person, they expect you to stay that way. Yeah, that's there's, what happened. There's a lot of actors and actresses doing that now. Um, Rebel Wilson did it recently. Mm-hmm. Adele lost all that weight. I think Rebel Wilson looks like a little sick though. I know. I like, don't. I think she's pretty. Don't get me wrong. Like, I, I, I mean, I thought she was she pretty like when she was big though. Too. I thought she looked better big. I mean, I don't like her small. She looks I don't weird. Like it. I mean, don't get so skinny that you look sick, though. You know, I like, got, I actually did that actually at one point. I got to one point where there, I was trying to hit my body mass index, and it was like 160. And BMI I is sick. bullshit. Yeah, I don't. BMI is them. bullshit. Like I, I got like I don't know if Joseph remembers when I did it, but I got to a point where uh, Amber told me that a friend asked if I was okay because my yeah, your face was starting yeah, to sink you were looking in bad. and stuff. Yeah. And sh- I even yeah, told you, I like, had, dude, you need to put a little bit of yeah, weight back on. Tell- I got to like 180, and people were saying you need to put some more weight. I, like, I end up gaining all the weight back, and Tyler goes, "You just need to lose it back down to like 200." He was like, "I didn't like it. You look sick." Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, uh, so the part the part where they first come into Ben Stiller's house, and um, the first thing that Vince Vaughn does is pick up the Ru- the Russian doll. <laughs> and and dude, that whole scene, he's like, he's so amazed by this doll. He's like, there's another one. He's like, hold on, hold on. Oh, there's another one, guys. Look, there's another one. And I was just like, the, like the, you can he's tell, so endearing. yeah, you can tell that he that was very much that was very uh, improvised. <laughs> you know what scene like made me kind of step back a little bit because Vince Vaughn always plays, you know, kind of that. Um, sort of alpha male, yeah. right? And sort of like, you know, he's usually like an asshole yeah. most of the time. Yeah. When they're at the when they're sitting on the bench mm-hmm. and they're talking about how like Ben Stiller can't have kids. Yeah. And he looks at him and he's like, You haven't told your wife. Like he he's given him like that talk. And I'm like, You're the you're the good guy? <laughs> like you're the good husband? What the f- well, you gotta you know, think though, well, like I kinda also kind yeah, of like that's, that's kind of one thing you should tell your wife. Well, right. absolutely, that's my. That's point. what they were trying to do in the movie, right? though. Like, was... You kind of noticed that Vince Vaughn in this movie, while being that kind of, you funny, thought he was that douchey you, you, kind of. But when you really look back at all of his actions throughout the movie, They're, he's not though. He's the good one. He yeah. is a good one, and he is. He's like you know endearing and he sweet doesn't need. He kind. has no lessons that need to be learned here. Yeah, like he's endearing, sweet, no, kind. Yeah. You know, no, no, I mean, no, like no, he's no. he's great. Let, let's let's bring it back to reality. None of the guys are good. They played with a dead body. It wasn't a dead. It was a and dead a film, alien. Still, it was a dead alien. You don't play with a dead body. It's a dead alien. <laughs> Okay, what about when that one person we knew decided to play with the dead rabbit? Did you think that's okay? That's different. No, it's not. It's a dead that body. That is different, you don't play dude. with a dead body. That was different. That person was weird. <laughs> they were playing with a dead alien, and it's meant to be a comedy, not real life. I know, but still, it wasn't. it's not funny. <laughs> it was fucking hilarious, dude. <laughs> it was I thought it was funny. I, I, didn't, really I laughed. Not. I didn't think fucking it was. Ducky I did Tarantino not laugh. Over here. Mm. I didn't laugh at any part of the movie. 
I actually almost fall, fell asleep watching it. Oh my god, this wow, movie was dude. funny. Whoa, bro. I, I, <laughs> at, at the end, Jesus. At the end was the part that I went, huh. Where they, whenever Vince Vaughn grabbed that dude's dick. No. He only needed one hand. <laughs> he only needed one hand. <laughs> he only needed one hand with it for that the, shit. <laughs> the, the only time I, I laughed, and I didn't even really laugh, I just kind of, huh. Was when Jonah Hill got pulled off Evan's wife and uh, and Evan uh, off uh, Evan's wife and Evan goes, "You need to stop doing that." He goes, "I'm in a bad place." When the, he pulls off, that's the funniest part that's to you. The, that's the only part I giggled at. I mean, it was entertaining. Yeah, it was good, I guess. Um, but it, well, like I said, it was uh, that was the only ga- laugh I got out. Of it. Was it? Uh, I don't think you were in the mood for this movie. Well, I totally <laughs> forgot that Jamarcus was an alien, though. I, I mean, I remember oh, I that remember. this that it had aliens, but I totally forgot that Jamarcus was No, I, I remembered. I knew. I, I totally I remembered forgot. that he was an alien. Uh, I totally forgot. It's even better watching it like a second or third remember. time and like catching all the little things that yeah, he I does or says because he knows he's an I alien. I didn't remember until he showed up at Ben Stiller's house and was like, no, I really need to talk to you. And I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, I, I, also, I also remembered that the boyfriend was an alien. I, I oh really, yeah, I knew I that. that yeah. yeah, as soon as he started picking up six foot four Vince Vaughn yeah. and throwing him around like a rag doll, it's pretty yeah, obvious. Yeah. So um, there were some things I remember from when I watched it the first time, and that was like <laughs> one of the movie. best lines in the whole fucking movie. I got the mush impressed against the cold steel. <laughs> the part where he's trying to pee in the can in the back seat. And I got the mush impressed, dude. That's what I'm saying. I think most, a lot of this movie was improv because some of the shit that they say, you're like, there's no way somebody wrote that. Like, because it comes out so naturally. Like, you can tell I, it's not I acted. I mean, I'll just say, like, you know, I didn't read anything about anything being improv, but maybe it was. I think it I was. Know that like, especially the part improv. where they're sitting there in the circle after they just found out that there's aliens and they have that orb thing. And they're like talking about making Jonah, like dressing Jonah Hippo as a, oh, as a girl. Was funny. And yeah. like sending him in. And he's like, you might get fucked in the ass. He goes, I'm not, he goes, I'm not really for it. But, but I'll, like, I'll I'll do it if yeah, I have to. Yeah, he's like I'll do, <laughs> yeah. I'll do what I I'll need do to what do. I need to do. Yeah, and like that whole scene right there was like you could tell that was improv because they were just naturally just it, there was like quip after maybe quip. Maybe though, and, maybe though, maybe because you've got Seth Rogen, Evan Goldberg writing this shit. Yeah, but all it takes is like, hey, I'm gonna throw this idea, I'm gonna spitball this idea at you, run with it. They do film yeah. like that, so oh, like yeah, I'm gonna, they do. You know, yeah. all right, check this out, Jonah Hill. You're going in, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, because if you actually listen to it, I can tell where it sounds improv. Because yeah, at think... one point, he says he's not going to go past second base. He goes, I will if I have to, though. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but, but I think that that would have been in the trivia, though. And I didn't see anything about it in Maybe, Maybe. I don't know. I have to look something like that up. But I'm uh, like yeah, some I of mean, it just seems very improv. I mean, uh, I know that Vince Vaughn does. And I know that, you know, they do yeah. they do that stuff a lot. Yeah. But I didn't see anything about it. But, you know, I mean, I'm... what. One of the other things I kind of had with the movie is I I even wrote it right here. It just says Costco. Really? Yeah. That's that's the point. (laughs) Like Costco? Yeah. You got to understand this is supposed to be like. It's integral to the plot. They had everything they needed. Yeah. Everything that they needed at Costco, man. It's Costco. I know. Why didn't they like go to a power plant or something? Because Costco has everything they need. That's so stupid. All the batteries, everything they need. Dumb. That was retarded. It's supposed to be a dude. It's, that's the point. <laughs> it's supposed to be a town in Ohio, man. Like, yeah, you're completely missing the whole. I mean, this this is hilarious. So I I when they pick up the walkie talkies when they go in there and they pick up the walkie talkies. Like, yeah, he's trying to open them. But yeah, but like okay, so they pick up the pink ones. Yeah, right? there were better ones right there next to. There were the, yeah. literally the yellow and black ones right next. Yeah, to Yeah, instead they got the pink ones. They grabbed the pink. And then ones. like and like Ben Stiller's trying to open his, and then like in uh, Jonah Hill's back there, he's like, "Do you have any? Do you have nails? Do you have <laughs> yeah. nails? Because yeah. he's got his open finally." Yeah. Um, <laughs> feels like it feels like cum. <laughs> it feels yeah. like cum. It's like, what's this green stuff? It's like, it, I don't know, it feels like cum. Oh, I love when they first find it or whatever. And he says, what did he say? Hold on, I wrote it down. And he just won a Nickelodeon's Choice Kids yeah, he just, Award. Yeah. <laughs> that was hilarious. I think he just won a, maybe he just won a Nickelodeon's Kids Choice Award. Because <laughs> that's what it look. that's what I'm saying. Like, it. that's why it feels improv. Because, like, just shit like that, like, we're thinking that. 
but they're saying it. You know what I mean? There's a lot yeah. of things that they say in the movie that you're like, no, I was just fucking thinking that. I, I get it 100%. So, it's just usually they they put that stuff out there. You yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe, Like, yeah. to kind of highlight how talented. Right, yeah, you know I understand, I mean? yeah. But, I mean, it's totally possible. Did it, you guys notice that when they were shooting the aliens, there were no reload sequences? <laughs> Well, you know, we actually talked about that, Jeremiah, and I... Really <laughs> Especially the part where they just kept shooting the one. Like, bam, 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 bam. So they yeah. never reloaded, and this bam, well, bam, I was bam, actually bam. pissed at first because I didn't realize, so, like, I kept thinking they were nine-clip Berettas. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, that's way more than nine. And then, like, Jeremiah looked it up, he's like, no, those are 15 clip. I'm like, okay, okay 15, but they're definitely at 12. Yeah. And then they, they get down there, and then they're still shooting, like, for, like, another... And then they finally <laughs> ran out of yeah, ammo, yeah. and all the aliens swarm well, in on them. Yeah. At the, the right shot plot yeah. point. <laughs> right. You know, the the shotgun. Right. Most shotguns only have, like, a reload of five. Eight. Eight. Is there eight ones too? Yeah, there's, yeah. A, there's but eight. But still, yeah. that was a lot more shots. Than yeah, that. right. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's so like it's not like most movies where they'll do like a little. They're like, oh, this Beretta has like twenty shots or something. It wasn't like a little. Yeah, mess up. the part where on. Jamarcus comes in and just starts shooting dicks off. There's no way you're shooting them dicks with a shotgun from that distance, dude. <laughs> oh, no. Like, there's no way. Like, <laughs> no, you might you might clip them. Yeah, you might clip them or stun them, maybe <laughs> even. But I mean, like. You're not, you're not, you're not taking out dicks from that distance. No, you know what I mean? No, you, you're gonna, you're gonna get some splatter. Yeah, and yeah. You're gonna get and some we don't mean in a, in a, in a kids' choice award way. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's that's insane. But uh, yeah, like I love when he shows up and he's like, "You have to destroy the dick." <laughs> yeah, you gotta destroy the dick. <laughs> it's the only way to kill us. <laughs> that's fucking great. I thought that was stupid as well. I, I'm sorry. I just apparently I thought the whole movie was dumb. It's just <sighs> penises, really. It's like I'm sorry, but you can tell that Seth Rogen and stuff wrote this because there's a lot of cop have, jokes. Yeah, they all have, there's a lot. It's funny because after I read who wrote it, I was like, oh yeah, I could tell that because Look at all the dick jokes in this fucking Seth movie. Seth Rogen is all about just dick jokes, and yeah. that's all their their whole uh, career is built on. Yeah. But there's no, a place for that in comedy. I'm a dude, and I don't know about you, but as a dude, dicks are funny. No, okay. There, there's a place for that in comedy, though. If you yes. know, if you yep. go into a movie and you know that that's what you're getting into, did we like, have this conversation yeah, for Grandma's Boy? Th- that's what I'm saying. We had the there's same conversation for, about Grandma's there's Boy. There's a place yes, for that what, kind of comedy. What I'm saying though is, with, when it comes to a movie, there's okay, they're being a little edgy, and their movie is so bad because they're just trying to be edgy. That's all they're trying to do. But I didn't get that from and this. I didn't either. I got. It's, it's it looked to me like they were just trying, trying to make this funny, edgy. stupid fucking movie, and it worked. No, it, it worked. It looked like they're just trying to be edgy. It's so, the same thing Grandma's Boy did. It was all about just trying to be edgy. You got to stop watching The Quartering, man. I don't watch The Quartering. Okay. I don't watch What's The anymore. Quartering. It's a very conservative sort of, like... YouTube channel. No, oh. I, I haven't watched the quartering in like a month. That's good. Stay off of that shit. <laughs> okay. So anyway, um, uh, God damn it, I lost my place. Oh, yeah, fucking Christ, <laughs> the, the fucking orgy, man. So they go out on the, uh, and I like I said before. So Akiva Schaefer, the the director, who's also a member of the Lonely Island, uh, friends with uh, what's his face, um, from Brooklyn Nine Nine, and that. Uh, he was also on. He was on, the actually, Lonely Island guys. Yeah, the Lonely Island guys. Is well, it Adam Akiva, something. No, it's not Adam. It's yeah. Is it? Yeah. Um, oh fuck. fuck! I know his fucking name. Adam Sandberg. Yeah. Yep, no, that's him. Is it Adam Sandberg? I think it's something like that. It's Adam. Andy. Andy. Andy Sandberg. Andy. Yep, that's it. All right, so. Fuck. So he, I love it because he had like long hair and a ponytail. <laughs> yeah. For no reason. He looked like such a douche. Yeah, it's for no fucking reason. It, it, you only see them for like two seconds. Yeah. And they're like jerking each other off. <laughs> well, they start off on themselves. Yeah, and then like, like right, oh, switch. Yeah, yeah, switch. Yeah, switch. <laughs> uh, so, um, also, uh, Akiva Schaefer used to be a writer on SNL, which mm-hmm. is obviously where um, where Andy Sandberg came from. He came right. from so SNL. a lot about SNL. I love SNL. SNL is not funny. Oh, my God, Matt. It hasn't been funny for like the past 20 years. I haven't seen a lot of SNL since... I mean, it I hasn't mean, been good lately, but... It hasn't been good for, like, the past All right. 20 years, dude. Oh, my God. Matt, we need to cheer you up, buddy. I'm a happy... I, I don't know what uh, why you think I'm depressed, because I am a totally happy guy. 
God damn it, mom! Lie. Stay out of my room! I don't touch your butterflies. Oh, I did get that was a good fucking run. But also, I was kind of upset that he was that mean to his mom. Yep, then he made it up. <laughs> I was just trying to impress my friends. I was just friends. trying to impress my friends. I'm sorry. <laughs> he fucking breaks down the He's door. He's like, I love you, mama. <laughs> no, I, I, I Stay that. inside tonight. Stay inside tonight, yeah. <laughs> and she's just looking at him like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> that was my uh, And I wrote that down, too. Him. I wrote that down, too. Severe trauma to the dick. <laughs> yes, yeah, severe trauma. The only way to kill them... They're right. The only way to kill us is by severe trauma to the dick. <laughs> <laughs> the only way. The, one of my favorite parts from Vince Vaughn is whenever they're getting ready to go into this alien hive, and he's got the gun, and he's like, and he says, if the uh, he said if the first thing that lost, or he said if the first thing in uh, lost in in war is innocence, and then he spits and he goes, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember that. It's fucking great. It's a very short clip, and he's just like, he's like, you can tell he's like getting pumped. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. I fucking love it, dude. I was like, I remember every time I see that part, I'm like. God damn, Vince Vaughn rules. I fucking love Vince Vaughn. I liked when they were in the car um, at the like towards the beginning, and you know they're all drinking like the beer and shit, and then they show up and they give them like open container and yeah. all that shit. <laughs> but then like you know they hit whatever you know the, the alien obviously or whatever, and then like Jonah Hill says something about you know oh Evan can get twenty three years for this or whatever. I'm just like like he's the only one. Yeah, none of you guys are doing like, anything wrong. I understand wrong. that he's like the guy driving, so like he's gonna get. But like, he's the, the only one not drinking. Yeah. Like, yeah, like he's the only sober one. <laughs> I wonder if anybody real uh, wonders. <laughs> like my big wonder too is also, I wonder how move that, hard move that mic closer to your face. I wonder how hard Vince has Vince Vaughn has to work to get that really annoying laugh down. Because if you notice, he does it in a lot of his movies. I think that's just his laugh. I don't think I can't. That can't not be his laugh. You ever heard Seth Rogen laugh? Hold on, laugh? hold on. Yeah, I know. That's right? his laugh. Yeah. Oh, really? I really mm-hmm. love that Matt is the one talking about Vince Vaughn's laugh. Well, because I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I do like Vince Vaughn. Well, I'm just saying, well, like, because people great, always pick on you about your laugh. My laugh is very unique. I know. I'm proud of my laugh. I love your laugh, so, dude. I don't care what anybody says. It cracks me the fuck up. I used to not like my laugh because everybody made fun of it. But now I'm like, you know what? No. Because huh. that makes me a unique Hell yeah. Dude. dude, yeah. Uh, fucking embrace that shit. So mm. maybe that's what Vince Vaughn thinks about his. Well, maybe that's he fine. I, I, I think, uh, I think just, honestly, I, I think that's what Seth Rogen has done at this point. He's He knows that people make fun of his laugh. <laughs> yeah, the, well, the, only re- like, the only reason I thought of that immediately is because somebody put on Twitter one time something about... Um, do you think Seth Rogen knows how much um, his laugh sucks or something like that? And he was like, he he responded. And he yes, was like, I do. But I, he's like, yeah, I do. Everybody hates it. Because um, yeah, the movie you know? that I really he's like, I'm a millionaire. Fuck yeah, like, you. I, I, I have millions of dollars. I'll cry into my millions of dollars yeah. here. Yeah. Oh no, because <laughs> the movie that I actually liked Vince Vaughn the most in was was a comedy, and it wasn't a raunchy comedy. Was it it the was, one with Jennifer Aniston? Uh, the breakup. That was like well, I liked him a lot in that movie. You're right. My favorite movie of his was a comedy too. It was um, called Psycho. <laughs> oh, the Psycho that he I forgot. Yeah, that the remake. Because like, that movie was a big piece of shit. Was it? Yeah, it was thought... fucking shot for shot the same. It was. You dumb. know, I actually did. I actually did laugh at one point in that movie, and I don't even remember what point it was. But like, I remember he was standing behind the counter and he was talking to one of the girls. And I don't remember if it was Marion Crane or if it was one of the, you know, but like she comes in and he says something to her and then he laughs <laughs> and it's that laugh. <laughs> you know, but it's like that. <laughs> it's just like, fuck. <laughs> you know, because you know, it was before yeah. he became Vince Vaughn. Yeah, because you know? that so was like, like his first movie role. Yeah, like so he laughs and he does it like, he. I was just like, oh god, run! I think I have seen that movie like way back in the day, but I don't think I. I think everybody watched Psycho because it was like one of the first like remakes that was coming out, you know, like, and everybody's kind of excited about it, and then it was shot for shot. So fuck that movie. Yeah, I think I've seen a little bit of that when I was young, but um, man, you just you don't fuck with a fucking Alfred Hitchcock movie, man. Like, just leave him alone, dude. They're again, classic. Some of them, I can't say they're all great. Again, my point is, is like if you're gonna remake a movie, remake don't a bad do one. Shot, don't do shot for or shot. Remake a bad one. No. If you got better technology and stuff, Throw do your some own flavor better. on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Add some salt and pepper to that bitch. <laughs> Add some spice. <laughs> but all right. So one of my favorite lines from Will, Will Forte in this fucking movie is at the end. <laughs> 
So when after he gets shot and everything, he's, and he's up, they're hiding behind the cop car, him and <laughs> him and the wife, and they like use that orb to blow up Costco, and he, he says, "Are those tears of joy? Oh no, those are tears of joy. Those aren't tears of joy, are they? Your husband's dead, isn't he? <laughs> oh, he's he's dead, dead, isn't he? You're a good person. You're a good find person. Someone. You'll find new love. I'm single. <laughs> you very you very faintly hear him say that. He goes, I'm single." <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was funny because I um I actually kind of like paused the movie to say this to Jeremiah because we're watching that, you know, and like when they go to like disable the the orb thing, you know, and they look at Jamarcus and they're like, What do we do? And he's like, I don't fucking know. I don't you fucking know? know. And they're like, What do you mean you don't fucking know? And he's like, Do you know how your cell phone works? Yeah. <laughs> and I like I like I paused it and I'm like I mean I know how to how to I don't use, use it. it. <laughs> That's a good fucking point. Yeah, I mean, really, I mean, it is. I mean, it's a good fucking. point. That's what like, I'm this, saying. Like, it's, I even technology. wrote this. I even wrote this down, and I said, I said, I love that. I hold on. I, I like that's that so, that's so relatable. I well, I said, I said, I love that they call out every trope and flaw in the movie yeah. themselves. Yeah, they did. So like, they're like, they're like, do you know how your phone? Like, whenever he said, do you know how your cell phone works? And they're like, uh. Yeah, I mean, no, it's, it's, it's Ben an... Stiller sits there and goes yes, and tells him how a cell phone works. That's not how a cell phone. Works. No, no, he says he tells him like how he uses it. Yeah, he not says how, how he it says works. he says of course I do. I make calls on it. No, that's how you use oh, a cell phone. Yeah, okay. not how you. I thought how it he works. gave a little bit different. Again, no, he said know. he said I can make calls on it. That's how you use a cell phone. That's, that's not, not how. It that's works. not how it works. But I know though. Jonah Hill. He kind of he. Tries it too. He tried it today, but it was something real short. And, yeah, and <laughs> everything he does and says is real short. That part where he's out in the football field trying to make that speech, and that kid's making fun of him, and he, the first thing you see Jonah Hill do is walk up and grab him by the throat. He's like, "Shh." Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, "Yes." Yeah, the best. The best thing. About I don't know. That. I don't know how the fuck I forgot that Jonah Hill was in this movie. You're welcome. Yeah, because I was like, <laughs> how did how did I forget about Jonah Hill being remember, in this fucking I, it's movie? It's so funny because I forgot so much about this movie, but like it was like what I forgot, you remembered. What you forgot, I remembered. Yeah, but like it was it was the best thing was like when they were getting when they got egged. And they, and they take the kids down, and then they take them down to the fucking police station. And they're walking in like a bunch of badasses. <laughs> yeah. they, they got, got the them, music and everything, the slow kneeling. motion. They yeah. got them fucking kneeling, and then like they're, they're tag team. And he's like, he's like, look at me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> yeah. No, you look at him when I'm talking to you. And like, he's, like, <laughs> he's like, he's like, listen to my or watch my words and listen to his face. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look oh, at my shit. words and listen to his face. <laughs> and it's like the funniest part because it's like the only time Will Forte's character actually is has, like what has fuck? like the upper hand, right? Yeah. Like where he's like he's the guy in the room that you're like he he makes sense and they don't. Yeah, they don't. You he's know, he's like, like he's standing up there like what the fuck. Is he, yeah, after they walked out, he's like, what the fuck was that? Like, yeah. what what just happened? He's like, can I get a ride home? Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Get the fuck. And he throws a skateboard. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, no, this ain't no charity ride. Did you guys ever watch, um, uh, what was that, uh, fucking show? It was, uh, like a Walmart, uh, Supercenter? Superstore. Superstore. Super. Did you guys ever watch that show? No, no, I never watched. I know what you're talking about, though. The kid. They they that they took to the police station that yeah. egged him or whatever yeah. was in that show. Oh, was he? Oh, he yeah. looked familiar. I know I've seen him. In I, Bo, I know I've seen him in shit too. Bo, oh, I've never Super seen Superstore, Super no. but I've seen him in other things. He looked familiar to me. <laughs> he was. We we recognized him because uh, one of the things that Bo used to do is he'd go into the store and go wah 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> The one, every time I see Will Forte, though, all I can think is McGruber. Yes, that's all. That's, that's all I think. What I think too. McGruber. I, mm-hmm. I did not get into that movie at all. I didn't get into it either. It was supposed to be dumb, and it I was. Like the fact yeah, that, I like the. Fact no, that... I, I'm I'm like more the SNL sketches. Like this, I watched a lot of the SNL sketches, yeah. and they were funny. I like the fact that they uh, brought um, uh, Val Kilmer back. McGruber, mm. he was in. He was in McGruber. Oh, Val Kilmer. Kilmer was? Yeah. Well, hell, he was in the new Top Gun, too. Was he? Yeah. Well, that makes sense. He was in the original. Yeah. Oh, he dies in the new Top Gun. Spoiler alert. Oh. <laughs> if you haven't seen Top Gun, he he doesn't have a very big role in the movie. I mean. 
yeah, I know, with the uh, throat cancer and all that stuff. Yeah. Poor oh, guy, man, because he had a sexy fucking voice, man. Oh, man. He had a sexy he was voice. was beautiful man. Yeah. I don't he know was, why too. he stopped acting. I just, because I just he got throat cancer. I just yeah. figured he was have one of those seen, guys. Have you seen him recently? He looks rough, up? man. He looks he really looks, rough. He looks rough. He's gained a lot of weight. He's got I know the, he gained a lot of weight. He always wears a scarf. He lost it Oh, he lost it? Well, he was a little bit thinner in... In Top Gun, so. I knew at one point he, he looked. He really didn't look bad in Top Gun, really. Yeah, like he's not going to be in uh, the Willow thing. He's not playing Mad no, Mar again. Can't, yeah. well, I mean, I thought like maybe he might come back. You know, like, like just for a cameo Gun, or something. Yeah. Like, you know, I I heard, which that. he might. You never know. I seen where he no, gained no, they a lot of weight. Else, he won't. He won't be doing it. I seen that he lost. This is the part weight. of the reason that I'm I'm not interested. But I thought that he stopped acting because you know how Hollywood is. Sometimes some actors will be big for a while and then they'll stop. And I thought it was just that. I didn't know he had throat cancer. Yeah, poor guy. Yeah. Because, I mean, dude, he's Doc Holliday. Yeah. Doc Holliday, Tombstone. Yeah. So, anyway, <laughs> so I think we're pretty much uh, getting in. Uh, we're, we're, we're pretty much got to the, uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so, I think that's pretty, I pretty much summed it up. Uh, any, you guys want to add anything else to it? Like any likes or dislikes? Maybe something you didn't, we don't even want to hear it, Matt. We know you didn't like it at all. <laughs> Mm. Uh, mm. I don't. Th- I don't know that there's. A- I have a lot of dislikes. I even liked Ben S- Ben Stiller's character in this movie because I just I don't he think- plays that. Like I, I hate it when he pl- tries to play more serious roles. Like, okay, it's there's something about Mary. He was the least likable character in the whole movie. Okay, I did not like him at all. I don't because he wasn't funny really. I you don't know, think Ben Stiller is funny at all. He and has his moments. Ben Stiller is not funny. I I wondered. <laughs> If there was like a correlation, when Vince Vaughn started calling, um, what's his face, uh, Jonah Hill, Frank and Beans or whatever. Oh. Ben Stiller, you know, zipped up his shit. Oh, Frank and Beans. <laughs> Frank and Beans. Frank, Frank and Beans. Beans. Frank and Beans. So like, I didn't know if there was like some kind of like. There might have been. That'd be know. funny though, because whenever he zipped his junk up, because he didn't it? start doing it until the, the end of the movie. So right. it was like to me, it seemed like something a in, joke that kind of caught yeah, like, on. Like in yeah. the like in behind the scenes, something happened, and you know they were like making a joke, and then so then Vince Vaughn brought it to the yeah, set. Yeah. I don't know. Just because it was weird to me. And well, his name was happening. Franklin, but right. But it's it seemed weird that he didn't start calling him that until like the end. Right. You know, there was no loving. Like there was little... probably some kind of inside joke. That's funny yeah. that your name's Franklin and uh, Frankenbeans over here. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Like that's that's kind of where my head went with that, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Uh, movies like this, movies who did movies that don't see a lot of uh, traction, especially years after it was released. You don't get a lot of trivia out of because they stop talking about the movie. I mean, there there's a fair amount. Not, I mean, not a a great amount, but a fair amount. Right. I mean, so so I gotta say though, like even Ben Stiller's character was pretty likable. There were certain moments like where he was like that funny Ben Stiller because you know how it is. Ben Stiller in this movie he was very much playing that suburban douchey guy you know what i mean yeah and uh and but there were moments where you're like okay now it's class that's classic ben stiller where he's funny yeah. he does like the little uh like the part where he was like trying to uh talk to the alien and get the coax the alien out of the bush <laughs> yeah. so like he's like Ooh, making weird fucking noises like what are you doing he's like he's like they don't understand their language so i'm trying to talk to him <laughs> or uh soothing noises to make him feel welcome <laughs> and that we're not a threat like that shit, like that was yeah. like that's that's yeah. Ben Stiller, like Zoolander, yeah, like Zoolander, Zoolander that's, that's, or like whenever he does like the macho shit, like that reminds me of like uh, heavyweights or mm. uh, dodgeball shit, like yeah. that. Like whenever he's actually funny, you know what yeah. I mean. So like, but like whenever he's like being that douchey suburban guy, like I don't like that. Like I don't like Ben Stiller like that. Like because I'm know. not a big Ben Stiller fan, but I do like his comedy whenever he does it, and he does a great job of making funny fucking movies. Look at the cable guy. I mean, you know. I don't know. I think that um, if you have the right cast, like Ben Stiller does a great job. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like he, it's, he's he's one of those guys. He's kind of like, uh, I wouldn't even say Seth Rogen because Seth Rogen can be funny on his own. But like he's one of those tar- sort of actors who's, he, he does mostly comedy movies, but his comedy movies are very they have to be uh, it has to have an ensemble of of people to back up his comedy 
because he's not that much of a funny person That's on his fair. own. That's fair. There's a lot of actors like, out there like that exactly. that have to like, have like that ensemble. Like Vince Vaughn is funny by himself. Uh, like take for instance, uh, you've seen Idiocracy and and um, and uh, Old School. So, uh, what's his face? Um, Will Ferrell. No, not Will Ferrell. Um, the lead in the in Old School. And in Idiocracy. What's oh, his name? Oh, um, Luke, Luke, Luke Wilson. Luke Wilson. So he does a lot of comedies, but he's not a funny dude. So, but what makes his movies funny, like old school, is you had Vince Vaughn and Will Ferrell there. And even, uh, what's his face? Um, fuck. From Smoking Aces. What's his name? The douchey guy who's the dean in old school. I can't remember his name, but uh, mm. even him, like they, 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 they make that movie funny mm. for him. And same as, like, Idiocracy. He wasn't funny in idi- Idiocracy. Everybody around him was funny. You know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? But they yeah. associate him with uh, good comedy movies for that reason. And that's yeah. Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller has the capability of being funny on his own if he's playing the right kind of character. Well, I think that, like, Ben Stiller and, um, like, Luke Wilson and stuff, they have that capability. They're that um, guy that's in the background that can... Um, Maybe be that creative type to say, like, but that's this, what I'm, like, like, but that's what I'm saying though. Like Ben Stiller has the capability of being funny when he wants to. Like, like no, in no, Dodgeball, no. he was the funniest part of Dodgeball. Yeah. No, what I'm saying is sort of like you know what I've talked to you guys about with like this podcast is like you know when I talk to you guys about like you know ways to promote or whatever, and I say like I can't draw a stick figure, right? But like maybe we do this, and I have to bring it to you guys because I'm not a creative type. But, you know, maybe like Ben Stiller, Luke Wilson, those kind of people, they can bring it to the table and say like, hey, this would be funny if, and they can bring a certain amount of talent to it, but they need the others to bring the rest of that talent into it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they, they can bring a certain amount into it to say like, you know, this is what I've got. What do you got? Right. You know what I mean? Understandably. and yeah. But like, like in Dodgeball, like for instance... Like, he is the funniest part of that movie. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's other great characters in that movie. I like Justin Long. Justin Long, yeah. <laughs> Justin Long's another, like, guy who's, like, who has the capabilities of being funny, and also he can play serious roles. I think I think he's better in serious, actually. Like, if, if you're going talent-wise, like, on right. his own. Yeah. If you well, he's in that new movie, Barbarian, that I really want to see. That's, yeah, that's, I want to see, that so wanna see it so bad. And yeah. he's in that. But, like, like... Fucking Ben Stiller's delivery on shit. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. <laughs> yeah, like, just that shit's funny. Yeah. It's fucking funny, dude. Yeah. So uh, he has the chops, man, and he knows how to do it. And what's funny is he had nothing to do with the creative, creative output of this movie. Mm-hmm. He was just a cast. Mm-hmm. So, like, because uh, he was in... Because uh, that's what I was like, man, whenever I read who was directing and who wrote it, like, god damn, they got a stacked fucking cast for this movie. Yeah. Because like, you got Vince Vaughn, Jonah Hill... Um, and Ben Stiller in here, mm-hmm. you know, and, and then you got the director is Akiva Shaver, who has his only credits are like Lonely Island bullshit, mm-hmm. you know, and he was a writer on SNL, mm-hmm. you know, he hasn't really done a lot of big stuff. Right. So, and I think he did great with the movie. It was fucking hilarious. Yeah, it was. So, but anyway, let's move on and let's get this fucking thing rated, man. So here we go with Matt. Yeah, Matt, let buddy, him get his two in there. Yeah, let's get your two in here. Oh, I didn't write that a two. Uh, probably lower. Three. Oh god. <laughs> All right. So why is it a three? Well, the main reasons is one, it didn't keep me interested. Two, I almost fell asleep during the movie. What time did you watch it? I watched it at uh, three in the afternoon. That's prime nap time. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Prime nap time. <laughs> That's prime nap time. But, uh, n- no. I just didn't like it. It was boring. I, like I said, I could not keep track of it. You know who he reminds me of right now? Some of those fucking, uh, reviews that we read. We're like, why <laughs> it was though? Terrible. It was terrible. But why was it terrible? <laughs> My biggest thing is it didn't keep me interested. Because I told you, if the movie keeps me interested, I usually give it around a five. The movie did not keep me interested. It did not get me in. There was no interest in it. I almost fell asleep sitting down. Like in the most uncomfortable position, I almost fell asleep. Dude, I can, I I can fall asleep standing up, so I don't want to hear that shit. I laughed. <laughs> I, I laughed and not even like laugh, laugh. Just like, huh. Once throughout the whole movie. <laughs> that sounds more like a, like, that was like, what happens if you like moderately orgasm? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so, so I see how it is. I don't like a movie that it you guys like. And we just yeah, it'll like work. <laughs> Fuck. <dude. laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys, man. And now see if maybe break out the F. Fuck, man, dude. Uh, I'm crying a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I can't stop doing it. Uh, <laughs> fuck. All right. Let me compose. I'm, sure I'm gonna compose myself. <laughs> fuck. I'm sorry, Matt, dude. <laughs> sorry. No, you're not. Yes, I. No, I'm not. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my stomach. Fuck, hurts. dude. All right. Uh, Get it. <laughs> fuck. I don't want to keep doing it. Okay. Okay, but yeah, alright. Fuck, alright, sorry. That's the last time. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I keep thinking it's like an impulse, dude. I can't help it. It's like an impulse. I can't stop. Alright. <clears throat> okay, I won't do it again. All right. Okay, but yeah, I just didn't like I'm the crying, movie. I didn't dude. Laugh at all. <laughs> sorry, man. I just it was. I'm sorry. I didn't find it funny. I I didn't. I just. It was one of those movies that reminded me why I didn't watch it more than once. <laughs> okay. Uh. Well, Matt gave it a three. I guess that's better than a nothing. <laughs> uh. Whew, sorry, I'm still trying to gather myself a little bit. <laughs> I want to do it again so bad. I do, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. All right, Karen. Seven. A seven. Mm. Okay. No, I'm going to go eight. You're going to go an eight? Yeah. Woo! Baller. Yeah, I'm going eight. <laughs> Baller. Yeah. All right, so so why do you give it an eight? Because it was funny as shit. It's fucking hilarious, yeah. I mean, you go like, okay. One, I really like that, you know... Vince Vaughn kind of stepped out of that, like, alpha male, I'm an asshole thing. Right, right. And the other thing that I really liked about it is that it took me halfway through the movie to realize that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, I guess so, because I honestly didn't even realize it until you said it, because I've pretty much seen almost every comedy that Vince Vaughn's been in. Like, I, I noticed that he was a good dad, right? Yeah. Like, I was like, oh, that's cute that he's a good dad. Like, that's cute. But, like, I realized... When he's having this conversation with, you know, Ben Stiller, how good of a husband he was and how good of a guy he was in this movie. And then, like, you start thinking about all of his actions prior. And like Matt said, any of the actions he had prior was just in the interest of making friends. Right. Not like in his other movies where it's usually trying to get, you know, laid or whatever. Like, it, it's it's literally just about making friends and his family. Yeah. In this movie. So I like that he kind of stepped outside of his normal kind of typecasting a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Not to the extreme, but yeah. No, but I mean, he he was that guy, but he He was, wasn't so much the alpha douchey male. Yeah, he, he wasn't, was more of he the, wasn't uh, an asshole. He was because... actually more of the sound of reason, really, yes, within the... Yes, yeah, so like that... As much as they kind of like sugar-coated that a little bit for him, What I liked true. about it was that it, like I said, it took me halfway through the movie to realize, wait... Oh my god, he's not an asshole. Like, well, like in you know like I mean? in like in old school, he wasn't the voice of reason. He was the guy that like telling everybody to do all the dumb shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, man, let's start this. Like fucking... he was a good guy. Yeah. And and you know, but like he was still like not a great person, at least right. in the beginning. Like he had a lesson to learn, you know. What yeah, I mean? he did learn his lesson. Right. Yeah. But you know, in this movie, he was the guy that like didn't have a lesson to learn. He was the good guy. He you know like, and it took me halfway through the movie to realize he wasn't a douchebag in this movie. Right, yeah. And I was like, oh, wait. Wow. You know, so, like, I liked that that caught me off guard. Like, that kind of, I don't know, was a testimony it to was, the movie. Yeah, it was kind bit. of a nice refresher. I think. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I loved, you know, uh, Richard Awade. I love him, and I wish that he would do more things. So, pretty much anything he's going to be in, I'm I haven't seen him in anything water. since this. Until yeah. I saw him on some kind of, uh, some kind of dis- like discovery show or something where he like travels around the world and shit. And I'm like, and he acts like a complete ass. 
Like, he acts like he's not funny at all unless you like him as an asshole. Because that's how he was acting in the show. And I'm like, I hope that's not how he is in real life. Yeah, I hope not. Because he seems like a really cool, nice guy. And I'm like, I don't want him to be like, I don't want to envision him as like this douchey asshole. I, I hate when is, they though. do that. They put people like that you love and like certain roles in the crappy roles. Because like, I'm sorry, I liked, I liked um, uh, Drew Carey. And then they put him as the guy who runs the will, the uh, Price is Right. Yeah, and I'm like, right. I don't like it because he's not. That's not him. Funny. Yeah, that's yeah, not that's him not for me. Who I look at him and see. Yeah, yeah. He's no Bob Barker, damn it. No oh, shit. Uh, anyway, I liked. Uh, it's a lot about like the actors and seeing the roles that they're playing, and right. you know the way that the movie played out. I like that it's an alien movie, and I normally don't like alien movies, but the way that they did it was really funny. Right, and it worked out. So. <laughs> And I also like the design of the aliens, too. I didn't want them to... Because, like, uh, for a movie like this, what really would have killed it is if they would have went with some cheesy fucking atypical fucking alien design, whereas they went with this, like, more monstrous-looking design mm-hmm. for these for these aliens. And I like that because it puts more... Like, it's a comedy movie, but, like, it makes it funnier that they look so monstrous. And, yeah, like, it, the part with the dead alien scene yeah. where they're, like, playing around with this fucking dead alien and shit... And he yeah. looks horrible. He looks it, very it scary. It puts a more realistic spin on it to say, like, you know, these guys are... They could actually tear your face off. Yeah. Like, if they wanted to. Yeah. But, like... They kind of... You know what they reminded me of? They kind of... They almost reminded me of, like, a mixture between, like, a predator alien and, like... I think it's because of the mandibles. Yeah, the mandibles. Yeah. And then also, they put me... Like, their hands and stuff put me in the mind of uh, the aliens from Signs. Like, that's what they reminded <laughs> yeah. me of. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, you well, said that, and I was thinking of a scary movie or whatever, or a scary movie three when the alien. Oh, they're all putting them in their mouth. Oh, yeah. In their mouth, and they in their pee mouth, out of yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they pee out of their fingers. They just have their fingers in their mouth. <laughs> sorry. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's why I liked it. Oh boy. Um so there's a lot of things that I love about this movie. Um great cast. Uh it's funny as fuck through and through from beginning to end really. Even oh, and the cell phone thing. That was another thing I wanted to say about why I did it so high because that really stuck out to me. What the cell phone? Do you know how yeah. your cell phone works? Yeah. yeah. Do you know how your cell phone works? And that they call and that's one thing that I loved about the movie was they call out a lot of shit that you're like thinking in the back of your mind like but why? And then they're like, they're like, but and then they even say, but why though? You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. they do that a lot throughout the movie, and I love it. And that's why I think that I wonder if the movie was a lot of improv, because it, it would have to be because they're like, because like they're like they're reading the script and they're like, you know, reading their lines off, and then they're, they're like, they kind of question mm-hmm. the line that they just read. Well, it's know? just it kind of goes back to like you know like an Independence Day, right? Everybody makes fun of about you know like how they they roll up and dude takes down Alienware. Or alien, you know, fucking technology with a Mac. Right. You know? And, you know, they always have that trope about, you know, technology and this and technology. And this and is that. something that they would have questioned, like, but how? Yeah. Or, like, you or know, in, in this case, to say, like, you know, there's an alien on their side. And they say, how do we shut this thing down? And he says, I don't fucking know. I don't know. know. <laughs> and they're like, the fuck? How do you not know? And, you know, it brings to mind that, you know, like, not every alien is going to be a fucking engineer. And they call that or, out, whereas, yeah. like, in most other movies, that alien, that friendly alien would just know how to do it. Right, exactly. But, like, but you're, so like, you're like, well, like, but in the back like, of your mind, you're questioning, like, hold on, is he one of their engineers or right. something? Like, that friendly alien may not be an engineer. <laughs> exactly. He may not be a doctor. He yeah. may not be, you know, he might exactly. just be fucking Joe Blow who works in a fucking gas yeah, station right. be, on he, that fucking he, planet. He just might be a grunt. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like, I like that it was a realistic but funny I agree. plot yeah. point, I guess. Anyway. And that was one of the strongest <clears throat> points for me in the movie was seeing how they kind of call out a lot of the bullshit. Mm-hmm. Like, like, hold on a minute. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and they even, like, just a scene where, like, whenever they hit the uh, the alien or whatever and they find the orb and all that. And they're kind of going back and forth with um, <laughs> this dude. They fucking cow, and they're like, yeah, and they yeah, shoot the cow. let's not do that again. Let's not do that again. <laughs> and then they, and then they keep doing up. <laughs> Just shit, like, like, just. Yeah, but they don't shoot living stuff afterwards. No, no. The, the, the I mean, poor, wouldn't you poor, wouldn't either. Like, you know, they, I, they didn't mean to. Yeah, they're like, holy shit. My, my whole thing there was also, why did they roll up in a field to do it? 
Like, well, why didn't they just go to the guy's house like they usually did? Why would they just go to an empty field? To Unless blow shit up? Because they don't... No, because they didn't know that it blew up stuff first. Well, the, exactly. They didn't know what the fuck it yeah, did. Yeah, they didn't know, so... I, I don't know about I you, but... I a place that was you know isolated. I, I well, if you think about it, dude, they live in Ohio, and in Ohio, we got a lot of goddamn fields. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so... Well, no, no, you my, don't have to go far. No, you don't <laughs> have to go far. My thing was, yeah, why... why why did they just stop in the middle of an open field? But it does make sense that they would have just stopped in because they don't yeah. know what it is. But it's yeah. one of those things where you're like, well, but it's one of those but things. But they didn't know it was going to do but that. You know it's, under, <laughs> it's understandable because, yeah, I'm sorry if I found a piece of ale and the technology, I'm sure it's not helping bring it to my house. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Not that you know what, I don't know about you, but even after I saw what it did, I still wouldn't take it to my fucking house because <laughs> I'm like, holy shit, that thing is a fucking Leave nuclear that thing bomb. in the fucking trunk. Yeah. <laughs> Leave that thing out here. Um, but there's a lot of, I mean, the, the cast, uh, the way everybody played their roles and none of them took it super serious. Yeah. None of them did, especially Jonah Hill. You could tell he was having fun. Yeah. And I, a little bit of trivia for you. Um, Jonah Hill actually was afraid of missing out on a series. I already had that written down. I'll let you get to it then. I won't do that then. All right. So anyway, I'll let you have Boom. that. Yeah. Well, fuck you. <laughs> You so, can't trivia me, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, I I gotta give it. Oh, I also gotta give it an eight out of ten because this movie is fucking hilarious. It it's funny from beginning to end. It doesn't stop, and it's got good action, good comedy. Um, it's got a lot of uh, lovable moments in it, and I just. It's another one of them movies, one of them comedies. I love that, that Jamarcus like, stayed, and he was going to be like, yeah, I yeah. just love that. He just he shows up at the end like with a whole roll of condoms. And I love that it's condoms. because she sucked his balls or yeah. whatever. Like, that was just hilarious. She shows, he shows up with a whole thing of condoms. He's like, yeah, I love Earth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> they suck balls here. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to have to go with an eight on that one. And um, I think from there, that's a pretty good. So, an eight from me, an eight from Karen, and a three from... Fucking Ducky Tarantino over here. <laughs> He's like, I'm tired of that shit. I'm about to quit, you guys. <laughs> All right, so from there, let's get into some ratings. Um, hold on. Oh, I, I gotta press send. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, we need like. I'm going to go to Metacritic this this time for this one because I'm kind of tired of Rotten Tomatoes bullshit. I've been tired of Rotten Tomatoes for a long time. We're going to go to Metacritic for this That's time. the one you said that they were like trying to buy. Well, they buy They're basically they, letting It doesn't matter. It doesn't buy. matter where you where you go for a critic review. If a critic is bought out by a movie, they're going to send that they'll put that review on Rotten Tomatoes. On Metacritic, wherever they wherever they put their reviews, that's where the reviews are going. Um, but let's see here. So, well, if you're a review place that uses somebody else's review, that's pretty crappy. Well, that's I think, why I don't listen to really re- listen to reviews, though. But I think if you're a critic and you're getting paid, wouldn't it just kind of get blasted to wherever? That's kind of right? how that goes. Yeah. Yeah. Where the fuck is it? I guess I'm just saying that I expect everyone, like Rotten Tomatoes, to have their own reviewers and Metacritic to have their own reviewers. I no, I don't. That. I don't think that that's how that works. Yeah, but still, okay, I get it. So mm-hmm. I assume their meta score is out of a hundred. Um, I assume. Yeah, it's out of a hundred. That would make sense. Most are. Well, I didn't know for sure. I don't use Metacritic. Um. So this is out of a hundred, and they do have a, a meta score and then a user score, which would obviously be your audience score. Um. Uh. So what do you guys think the meta score is? I'm gonna go with uh fifty-five. A fifty-five percent. What do you think? I'm gonna say they probably give it a forty-five. Forty-five. Well, Matt's gonna take this one. It's actually a thirty-six percent. Wow. Meta score. That's pretty out of thirty five reviews. Um and it is They didn't care for this movie at all. They, it's it's pretty cool because they do it like with positive ratings, mixed ratings, and negative ratings. So their positive ratings is zero out of thirty five. That's amazing. Mixed raising mixed ratings are twenty five and a negative is ten. <clears throat> so 
And all these scores are based on out of like um, uh, 1 to 100 or whatever. And yeah, so I'm not even going to read any of the uh, reviews because I feel like half the time they're just a waste of fucking time. For the critics? Yeah, for the critics. And just, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going to read the user scores either because, I don't know, sometimes like they don't even know what the fuck they're talking about half the time. Because <laughs> we're always <laughs> going to be like, so fuck you. Well, that, that's why it's funny. Yeah. I know. Well, another thing is because we usually just disagree with them anyway. So um, what do you guys think? And this is out of, I believe, I think the user score is actually out of a 1 out of 10. Um, it is. It's 1 out of 10. And there is a percentage. So it's like a 1.5 or 2.5. It can do that. Or 2 or 2.5, 3, 3.5. It goes up like that. I'm going to say they're probably in like the 8 range. Eight percent, or I mean, eight out of ten. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Five. A five. Matt's gonna take this one too. It's eight. Really? Five point six. They suck. Five point six uh, out of ten. Um, I, I can give you a low, a low one here. All right, how about a one? This one. This guy gave it a one. All right. So this one says uh, this was um from December thirteenth, two thousand fourteen. Do not be fooled by the impressive cast because the film is utterly atrocious. The story is weak, to say the least, whilst the characters are so unappealing that I can't even remember their names. The plot twist is not clever, nor is it even needed, because like the whole production, it is basically a uh, disgraceful, appalling, and ridiculous proposition. Uh, Yeah, proposition. Uh, Avoid setting your eyes upon this monstrosity. He didn't say... He didn't say why, though. He didn't say why about anything. He just said, this is a piece of shit. That's all he said. Mm-hmm. Well, that's, so, all re- that's all reviews really are. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, there's no, zero. There's zero. Hold you... on, there's zero ratings, too. A zero I, I didn't rate know that. Zero. All right, well, let's check these out. Uh, what I mean is, like, these people, mostly, in, in any review of anything, you really can't take their word for it, because a lot of them, they just have a qualm with it or something like that. They just, yeah. So they just get... This had boobies in it. I didn't like it. Yeah, or, the, like... <laughs> Like you know how many people go I, on. Yelp I don't think and say, I've ever heard that. You know how many out of, out of anything. Out of anything. Yeah. You know how many times I went on to like look at because when where I lived, I looked at the re, the reviews for it, and every review that was like bad was nothing that's ever been in those that I've ever seen in any of those buildings, and it's just people who are throwing qualms because they're mad. Right. I'll give you one more zero percent. We got to keep moving here. We're getting pretty far into our time. Uh. I'm going to give you one more, probably the, all the laughing that we did. What uh, laughing? Uh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, I think it was the, uh, I think it was where we got kind of caught up in news and what we were watching. Am I dragging a body? Yeah, probably. All right, so uh, I'll give you one more zero and then we'll move on to trivia. So this one is a zero. I would give this movie a, ten, a negative 10, but couldn't. Bad acting, stupid, vulgar, not funny, waste of my time. I could go on. Ben Stiller continues to make F minus movies. Then why do you keep and watching cashing them? in on all the uh, cashing in on them all the way to the bank? Well, let's see here. Um, yes, no, I wouldn't say the acting is bad. I'd say it had a lot of improv. I think it did anyway. It was it, it was supposed to be stupid and vulgar, and it was funny. And it was only a waste of your time because you're a fuck boy. But see, I hate that <laughs> when people say like, "Oh, Ben Stiller keeps making," or you know, this actor keeps doing. But you doing, keep buying tickets. You keep watching. Yep. Like, okay, I bitched about Rob Zombie. Guess what? After the third movie, I quit. Yeah, fuck I'm not gonna get any more. I will let you all know. Time. Yeah, I will let you all know. I will not be watching the new monster monsters. No, nope, I'm not watching. If you give me, if you made an movie. hour long monsters movie, I would watch that. But it's two hours long, and I know it's dog shit, and I'm not interested because, for one, Sherry Moon Zombie shouldn't have anything to do with the fucking movie. She shouldn't be in any of his movies. Yeah. She's a horrible so actress. So, I just, I'm, I'm against, I'm 100% against watching the movie. I'm not going to give it any time of my day. Yeah. And you know why? Because I've grown accustomed to not liking Rob Zombie's shit. He's just not a good fucking writer point. or director. If I don't like somebody, I give them a fair shake. I watch, you know, two, yep. three, four movies or whatever. Yep. And if you continue to be dog shit, I'm done. I'm done. Yep. 
And I'm I'm tired of his bullshit writing. I'm tired of his bullshit directing. But I'm not going to get on there and go, oh, they keep doing this. They keep doing this. Why do you keep fucking you watching You keep watching, them? man. You keep watching That's them. on you. I've done that, though. I, I, like, I don't do reviews, except for one here. But, like, I I didn't like Brad Pitt for the longest time. But once I... And I've seen a lot of those movies, mainly, because of just people I'm around. But then I, I I seen one movie and I enjoyed it. He was in it. I have so. a theory about Brad Pitt. He's the man. Brad Pitt is a good actor as long as he's a character actor. Oh. Well, because I like him as long as he's being funny. As long as he's somebody that's sort of in the background, maybe a maybe a side character or like like in uh, Burn After Reading. Burn After Reading, um, Ocean's Eleven. Ocean's Eleven. Um, you know, I um, liked him movies in well, general. Because I really liked the, him in the Lost movie. City. The Lost City, yeah. Uh, he's a great actor as long as you're not expecting him to carry the movie. I don't know. He was. I think. I think he's a great actor. I think he's funny, and he has. He has his. I don't think he's without his flaws, but he's like even in Mr. and Mrs. Smith, he was great in that movie because he did great in action comedy. He's not carrying it though. There's two of them. That's true. There are two of them. But I think that yeah, he was the, the better problem, part of the movie. The too. only problem with that is uh, Angelina Jolie can't act. I don't like her anyway. Well, I'm just saying though. Like I, that's my theory is that and well, in one place he does shine is like in the '90s when he would play a bad guy. Anytime he played a bad guy. When did he ever play a bad guy? Uh, in a couple of Tales from the Crypt episodes and. Well, and he was uh, in a couple of Tales from the Crypt. Uh-huh, really? Uh huh. And um, he was in um, this Lifetime movie I watched back in the day. It was called um, Too Young to Die. He was a bad guy in that. And the uh, fuck, you're really diving deep into Brad Pitt. No, look, back in the it's day, it's almost I, like a bottomless listen, pit. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Look, I I could go on and on, but that is my theory about Brad Pitt: is that he does a great, a cool, cool world. That's another one. He does a great job as yeah, long he, as he's he, he's he a side character. Cool, cool world. Don't expect him to carry the movie. Is all right. I'm saying. All right, so uh, with that being said, um, like it or love it, we love the movie. Well, me and Karen did. Matt, not so much. But uh, let's move on to trivia here. We're running short on time. I don't have a whole lot. Uh, actor Mo Rodriguez, this is the guy at the beginning, the one that you know, yeah. bit it pretty yeah. early on. Yeah. Uh, he played also, like, Virtually the same guy, the same security guard with Denzel Washington and the Equalizer. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, they were both security guards in that movie, but they were security guards in a store called uh, Home Mart. Oh, yeah. I remember seeing a couple scenes of that. Yeah. He, he was. He plays virtually the same guy. I think he even has a similar name or the same name. Um, and then uh, by taking this role, Jonah Hill had to drop out of Quentin Tarantino's Django Unchained. Um, this was a part that he re- regarded as the perfect stepping stone to legitimize his credentials as a dramatic actor. Various delays in production on Tarantino's project meant that he could appear in both movies. Yep. He did end up appearing in Django Unchained. Mm-hmm. And it was not a dramatic role at all. It was I actually heard that was very funny. No, he, he, he just meant that it was going to be a stepping stone because he was in a dramatic movie. It, and it worked. I, yeah, after I guess that, it did. After that, yeah. he started getting more dramatic did, roles yeah. and things like I, that. I've but... never seen Django Unchained. That's good. But I've heard um, Leonardo DiCaprio did a really cool thing. Oh, dude, he was I amazing. That, 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 was, that was probably yeah, one of the first. He wipes the blood from the girl's face yep. or something. It's really his blood. Yep. That was one of the first movies whenever he had come back to acting where people were like, holy fuck, this fucker's got chops. You know what I mean? He's always I think got it, chops. Well, he's always, exactly, but I think that's whenever he they started actually realize like yeah. he's willing to go uh, well, the distance i mean fucking what's eating gilbert grape jesus fuck. but he was so remember? young at that okay, time though look, like listen i don't care young or not young 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 would have been like the the icing on the cake he's that fucking young and he can yeah. pull that off like dude i legit thought that he was right uh um, touched one of his <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> you know what i mean like yeah. i did not know that that kid was not I've never touched. Really Did you know that originally he was uh, he was supposed to play the lead role in Hocus Pocus? Yep. You, know, you already wrote that down, did you? I did. You've been looking up trivia on Hocus Pocus <laughs> no, already, haven't you? I already watched it because we're going to watch the second one and I didn't want to wait. Oh, you wanted to? Okay, yeah, I got I you. Watched All right. it. I might have to do the I same. I didn't put that in my what I watched this week because I, you well, know, fuck, that, that's, you know what I mean? That's in two days. I'm going to have to watch that Hocus Pocus. I, yeah, tomorrow. that's why I had to watch God, it. God damn it. I, like, I want to watch it first. I didn't really watch all of What's Eating Gilbert Great, but I really liked them in Gangs of New York. 
Yeah, he was good oh, in that, yeah, too. Yeah, he was great in that. Yeah. I bought that movie because of him, because it was he did a really good job in that movie. Oh. Uh-huh. And also, I just liked the movie Gangs of New York for some reason. It's a good when movie. When I was young, I was like, this is a good movie, but That's I just watched flip. it as an adult, and I was like, I want this movie. Yeah. Who was <laughs> the guy who was in, uh, who starred in uh, There Will Be Blood? Um, is it James? No, James Earl Jones. He's a fucking, he's Mufasa. <laughs> he's also, <laughs> um, he's thinking? also, he's also uh, Vader. Yeah, he's also Vader. Anyway, so let's move on. Let's keep so going. So Chris Tucker was the original pick for Jamarcus. Terrible idea. Oh, God, I'm glad that didn't happen. That. Yeah, <laughs> that, that would have ruined that character. For and uh, Vince Vaughn joined this project because he liked the character's relationship with his daughter. Because oh, it was kind of violent, but not really. Well, because what I mean by violent, not violent. It was. I got no that, violence from no, the relationship say. at all. No, not not violent is what I meant. It's the. the F you, F you. Uh, I, I fucking uh, hate this place. I fucking love this place. Yeah. No, it was more like he wanted to show his uh, softer, softer side. side. Yeah. You know, yeah. That, like he was I a good dad. That. and yeah. I mean, he was a good dad in that movie. Yep. This was the last theatrical role of Arlie Ermey. I was wondering about that. I fucking love that, dude. He That's another Saving Silverman great role, dude. <gasps> I he was in Saving my, Silverman. I know what my... Uh, yeah, he was, he was, he was the... Uh, Remember at the end, he ends up marrying Jack Black. Oh, yeah. They find out oh, they're gay. Yeah, okay, that guy. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was, he was yeah good. I forgot I about that. I fucking love him, dude. That was his last theatrical role? Yeah, in this movie. Oh, wow. I did not know that. The Neighborhood Watch program uh, in real life was started because in 1964, a woman named Kitty Geno- Genovese, I think I'm saying that right, was stabbed in New York. A lot of neighbors heard the murder, but no one said or did anything. Hmm. And then uh, the last one that I have is that Jonah Hill trained for two weeks uh, to learn how to use a butterfly knife. Makes sense. Uh, what's her face? Um, the girl who was in Kick Ass. Oh, um, uh, Chloe. Chloe Grace Moretz. Yeah, that's her. Yeah, she that's also her. took extensive training yes. on using a butterfly knife. What? Oh, you know you can buy a butterfly knife thing. That's the handle of a butterfly knife, but the the thing that acts as the blade is not sharp. Oh, to practice. Yeah, yeah. the dummy ones. Yeah. My brother had one. I've been thinking about getting one because I think it would be neat, like a fidget spinner, basically. All yeah. right, people. So because we're we ran really short on time, we're already pretty pretty well into this. Um, so next week we will be reviewing. Hocus Pocus one and two be with the with the blah, 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 blah. Can you speak? always all the fucking time at the end of the fucking yeah. episode. You're I think it's really because really we've been talking. Probably, for two I think hours. it's a, yeah, I think it is. So next week, because we're getting into into the spooky season, um, Halloween and all that's coming up here. So next week will be um, our family pick. Um, actually, it's not even our family pick; it's just my family pick. Because it's what I said is going to happen. And then also, I'm, pick, <laughs> I'm picking kind of a I'm picking a family movie. Yeah. Too. So and we'll get there. Well, um, but so next week will be Hocus Pocus one and two. It's going to be a double feature, um, with the release of the new Hocus Pocus movie, which drops Friday thirtieth. Is yeah, it Friday? Friday. Friday. Mm-hmm. Um, so we will be actually we're going to be at a group watch, a group party, or a party. What do they call a, it? A, a par- wa- watch a group, party. A watch party, yeah. A watch party for Hocus Pocus 2. I'm bringing meatballs. Do you want to be? No, I mean none. Do you want to go? Not really. Okay, I don't think Josh and Jessica care if you go. I'm I sure don't, they don't. Well, I, I don't. I, it's no big deal. I don't really care. I was just I'm sure I the only reason you didn't get an invite is because you don't have a face. Exactly. I'm yeah. pretty sure that... Uh, I, I'm not pretty sure, but I have a feeling that the, the reason I haven't been to a lot of parties that you guys have talked about is because I don't have face. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, I, well, I don't, we don't have a lot of parties anymore. I, I don't really go to a lot. Yeah, anyway. Karen doesn't go to any. <laughs> All right, so anyway, uh, so next week will be our review on Hocus Pocus 1 and 2 and just get our th- general thoughts because I think that... Honestly, I think that Hocus Pocus Two is going to be a big pile of dog shit. Um, I think. It's I just, hope we're wrong. I hope you are too. I hope it's got a lot of new material, a lot of good stuff. And I mean, you can't you can't go wrong with Bette Midler, man. I think a lot. I of, love Bette Midler. I think. But, a lot of I did see where they're like eating like moisturizer or something in a Walgreens. Yeah, they're like, uh, yeah. That kind of was funny to me, but I yeah, know, there's, we'll there's. I saw a clip and it, it was like rehashing the uh, some of the shit from the first yeah, movie. I did, I did see and that clip too. I, it, that told me nostalgia bait. That's nostalgia yeah. bait to me, and I don't like that because that means you're not coming up with anything new. It could be though that 
I mean, and, and again, this is wishful thinking on my part because I tend to agree with you, but like, there's a lot of people out there that want that. And yeah. Maybe they're and just it could be just, it could be bait to get them into the movie. In. Yeah. yeah. You know I'm kind of surprised that they didn't make it a prequel. No, well, no. Because if they were going to do a prequel, they couldn't bring, bring back the original people. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because no. they were still the. Thackeray Binks is way too old. Well, I'm saying, like, oh, they couldn't yeah, bring okay, back yeah, Bette okay, Midler. How are you going to do a prequel bad. and make her look younger? You know oh, what I mean? Wait, I didn't think about that. But I guess in, I guess originally in the first movie they were old to begin with. Yeah, yeah, but I think the the whole point is that they're always trying to be younger. So. I know. Well, in the first movie at the very beginning they're old. Yeah. But then again, if you did a prequel, it would have to be in the past, and nobody's gonna watch a movie with them in the past. Oh, I didn't yeah. think about it. So, but anyway, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so we will be watching Hocus Pocus 1 and 2, and then after that we will get back into our picks for the month of October, which will be all horror or Halloween-based movies. And after Hocus Pocus will be uh, Karen's first pick. And then after that will be Matt's pick, and then obviously after that will be my pick at the end of the month. So far my pick's the best. Because it's the only one that we know of. Other than Hocus Pocus. Doesn't matter. I think I know what I'm going to pick, but I'm not 100 I'm up in the air on a few things. There's some new stuff coming out. You this... can't just let me be first in anything, can't you? You are first. You're... What are you talking about? Wow, dude. You are like a little brother. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know if that's a, an insult or not. <laughs> uh, so... And then after that, obviously, we get back to our normal picks until the month of December, where we go into Christmas movies. So I, there, there is a. Wait, Christmas I thought we were doing some Thanksgiving. Movies. We can, we can, yeah, okay. totally. Because she bought a movie all for it, man. Oh, I yeah. bought two movies. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> and you know what? The well, are we going to do one or two of them? Well, technically, there's three, but we can't find the third. <laughs> <laughs> Probably for good reason. No, no, you can't find the second. Oh yeah. Yeah, the second. Right. Oh, that's right. That's right. Right. You did. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh. The second one. Yeah, that's the joke. <laughs> yeah. That's the joke. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking great. Mm -hmm. It's even on the back of the thing. <laughs> I hope that in like 20 years they're like, here it is. Yeah. Oh, by the way, <laughs> we found it. We found two. You know the the thing the thing is I she sent the picture to us and I go, "Oh god, I'm going to have to watch it all now." <laughs> So I, like, I don't know about the I don't know about the third, <laughs> but um, but maybe maybe just the first. Maybe. Oh fuck. We're gonna have to. What do you mean maybe? What do you mean maybe? You get one pick. Yeah, for uh, for Thanksgiving. Oh fuck. There's all kinds of months in the year. All kinds of months in the year. You Does mean that, all kinds of have, weeks in the year? Yeah, like I don't have to just. I mean, just because it's Thanksgiving doesn't mean that that's I have true. To, I guess. You know, we the, could we could be like. February and but there's a, right. there, by the way there's a I know it's Valentine's Day but <laughs> <laughs> let's watch a turkey yeah let's people. watch a turkey the, what I'm saying though is there's a uh, there's um a, a Christmas horror movie that I've watched two years for the past two years and I think it's a really good movie it's on Netflix I do believe so I wanted to find that and okay. bring that one up I think you guys would like it okay this is uh, what I'm thinking of I do oh then you you say that then maybe. All right, so uh, that's what we got going on here next week, uh, and and uh, make sure you tune in next week for for uh, Hocus Pocus one and two, and we will discuss and determine which one was better, probably the first, but <laughs> um, but we will we'll, we'll get into that next week, a muck, and a muck, a muck. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A fuck, a fuck, a fuck. Do a muck, a muck, a muck. I know. Uh, until next week, though, peeps. Uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll see you then. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye. <laughs>